All right. So that was uh, fan art Lord of the Rings extended edition. Wait, it didn't loop. Hold on one second. That was only one. Sorry, just kidding. Uh, so the extended edition only gets one loop. Um, there's there's a lot of fan art. Um, thank you so much for it. Not again. Um, and sorry that I got so behind on it, but uh, it's hard sometimes. Oh, man. My hair's getting long. I need to cut my hair. Hard to get the heads on. <sighs> Music is by uh, Zoro or Kusaro, depending on what you want to call him. Um on discord so uh three bangers if you want to go check them out there's a link somewhere probably some someone will probably post it in the chat and i think it's in the f the stream art museum if it's not pinned in the stream art museum it probably should be so people can see where the music is um i don't know where i could credit it maybe just at the beginning just at the beginning top left corner at the beginning of every fan art montage you know music by by kusara that's that's probably a good idea right i could start doing that I should have been doing that already, probably. Oh, get some stretches. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> Little note icon with the track name and author next to it, like backseat does. That seems a little too too rich for Joe Blood. I don't know about that. That sounds a little too fancy. Do you have dog? I have two dogs. It's uh, it's Gatsby's birthday next week. What are you doing, Gatsby? You doing okay? All right. So let's drop that. And put the sound down to 20 until we get into the game. And then when we get into the game, we'll put up to 30. And then Steam. Here we go. Oh, um, if I, as far as I'm concerned, I'm fully caught up on art now. So here's the thing, though. Um, my, I have a sneaking suspicion that I forgot at least one, and I may have forgot some others. So if your art wasn't shown and it was posted in the string art museum i have made a mistake so if you would like to correct my mistake if like it's possible i'll go through it and notice it myself too but um if you would like to make sure that it gets corrected if i've missed one um please let me know and i will um i will include it in the next one because i feel like i i missed at least one i think um the way I downloaded them all and put them in a folder and then I and then I put them up in a non-linear order in the past montages and this one. Um, I'm sure I made a mistake somewhere. I did get Lily um, to come downstairs. I enlisted her help to make sure I, I credited everyone right um, and we went through it. But I, uh, I may have missed one. So let me know. Did you see my shirt? I did see your shirt. Is it a real shirt or is it photoshopped? Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that? Why do people, I felt like I want to say something. Oh, someone said, did you, you named your dog Gatsby? Yeah, I named my dog Gatsby. What's wrong with naming the dog Gatsby? Gatsby's a great dog name. What's wrong with that? He's great. He's the great Gatsby. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? What's this fucking dog name shame? Yoshi's better. No, it's not. Yoshi, come on. I hate the great Gatsby. I do too, but it's a great name. I actually don't hate the book. I don't love it, but it's all right. Wait, Joe, unbanned? I was banned? What? When, when did I get banned for? Posting too much loot art on stream? Because if so, then yeah, deserves. Deserved. 
Unity treating you nicely so far. Um, like unity with my fellow man. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I always wonder why some people remade saves every checkpoint. Are you planning to replay the game? I don't, I don't know why, but something to do with weeb games and particularly, particularly VNs. Um, whenever I save, I just like to cycle. Like if there's choices and stuff, I just cycle them through just in case. I don't know why. Like it's just what I do. In other games, though, I don't do that. Like in in more gameplay focused games, you know, games that are actually games. Uh, I just save over the same one over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, um, I can't remember what we were doing last time. I'm staying here. Alright, we're gonna go vote, and we're gonna go vote on whether or not we, um... We're betraying, uh, Quark or, or not. And I already said I'm gonna ally, yeah. We were, we were stuck... Uh, on a puzzle for a while at the end of last stream. That was last stream, wasn't it? And the puzzle was alright, actually. It wasn't It wasn't stuck. Oh, it's bullshit. It was, it was a little unclear, I think. But it wasn't a, that bad of a puzzle. I'm staying here. I can't leave Quark. What do you mean? What do you mean bait? What do you mean bait? I've always told you guys what I'm going to do before I do it. I have never not done it. Even when the bamboozle betray. I said, you know, I'm going to vote betray. And, and I did. Every single time. Every single time. Every single time. And I'm telling you right now, I'm getting ally out of the way first because it's the cannon choice. And then we're going to reload for, for betray. And by cannon, I mean our cannon. It's like, what would we actually do in that? And then we go exploring for the story, right? I'm staying here. I can't leave. Nuts, old man. Oh, let's turn up a bit. All right, here we go. You're a solo. Luna and Fi could kill you. I'm Han Solo. I'm Han Solo. Yeah, I know. I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you don't vote, you'll default to ally. Okay, so this is very interesting. Because normally it would be you have to betray to protect, your, protect yourself from, from dying, right? But there's someone that could die on either side of this uh, exchange. So you're also risking killing the other person. So Temioji staying out is actually quite genius in that it makes it clear that the other person can vote ally safely. Um, and that betray is, is killing them. So it's an actual choice instead of like you have to take them on faith. But the other thing to do here would be Temioji says, I'm going to vote betray no matter what, Luna. You should vote betray too. And then, and then that's it. But yeah, that's pretty smart. All they have to do is pick Betray. We won't. You staying here won't change our vote. Right. And then Luna's in there. Oh, Fi, could you vote Betray for me? I can't do it myself, but you could do it for me. We always intended to choose Ally. Ten Miyoji staying here is just another reason for us to stick to that plan. Oh, Soski Boske. Luna has the same number of BP as you, Ten Miyoji. Normally, the safe plan would be to choose Betray. Since you will be unable to betray them, then Fi and Luna can choose to ally without worrying about their own points. Yes. Well, there you go. I trust Fi and Luna. All right, so when v when we vote Betray, is Fi also going to vote Betray the cycle so she can come out with... Uh with us and Clover? Is Fi gonna be there at every ending? I'm sure they'll choose Ally. Sounds good. Okay, then Temioji, you take care of Quark. You think I need you to tell me that? Whoa, hey. I won't take my eyes off him for a minute. Okay. Come on. We don't have much time left. We need to go. You need to go. Back at floor A warehouse, we open the AB rooms. I, okay, I ramped up my bet to 250k. Oh, on on Ally? Here we go. Remain <laughs> until Ambidex game polling closes. All right, Clover, we should probably hit in too. Uh, okay. <laughs>
Sigma? <laughs> yeah, you told me we should betray Quark since we might get another chance like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can I um take that back? Whoa. Huh? I changed my mind a little bit after talking to Ten Miyoji. I think we should choose Ally. What? What is this reverse psychology? Hey, that's more than just a little bit. That's like someone trading in a uh, uh, a shy to zoo for a German Shepherd. I went to the to zoo the other day. What the hell happened with you two? Did he say something to you? Okay, you know what? I haven't said it in a while. I went to the zoo the other day. It was terrible. They only had one animal. It was a dog. It was a shit zoo. <laughs> I went to Burger King the other day. I had to use the bathroom when I was there. It was terrible. Someone had taken a huge shit not flush and then used their poop to draw something on the wall. It was a picture of a dog. It was a poodle. <laughs> Why? I just can't. I made that up. I'm so proud of that. I, I made that joke up 100%. You'd laugh if I did anyway. I know. I will really? Laugh. Thank you, Lady Bell. Promise. Well, I still can't tell you. Hey, come on. I promised. I told Ten Miyoji I wouldn't tell anybody. Okay. You can tell me, though. We're AB room buddies. Whatever goes on in the AB room stays in the AB room. Alright, fine. I won't ask about it again. But Ten Miyoji doesn't really have anything to do with this, right? Our opponent is Quark. No, he does matter. Quark is really important to Ten Miyoji. If we betray Quark... We're betraying Ten Miyoji. Come on, don't you remember? When we were going into the red, blue, and green doors, Ten Miyoji said something. I didn't say there wasn't anyone I trusted. There's one person, Clover. I just know that you'll keep him safe. I can't betray somebody who'd say that about me. Oh, is that all it takes? All right. Seem pretty ready, ready to betray him back on floor B. That's because I didn't know who he was. Oh ho! So you're saying you know who Temyoji really is? All right. Who is he? Well, if what he told me was true, yeah. Maybe it wasn't true. One minute remains until Abadex game polling closes. Please. Choose ally. You aren't going to try and vote yourself? If I try, you'll just throw me off, right? Yeah. I don't think I'm strong enough to fight you. Eh. So. All right. With that, I turn to face the voting machine. The question was, what would I do? Ally or betray? Just as Clover had said, betraying Quark was like betraying Temioji. That wasn't even taking into consideration that Quark was just a kid, and he was infected with a deadly disease that would almost certainly kill him if we didn't do something. How could I betray someone like that? Only a monster would take advantage of a helpless child for their own gain. On the other hand, what Clover had said in the warehouse on floor B was true. It was unlikely that I'd get a chance like this again. If I chose betray, then I'd have 9 BP. I would be able to escape this godforsaken hellhole. 10 seconds remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. So what would my choice be? What would I do? Ally or betray? I chose Three, Rapture. Two, one.
Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. I always do what I say. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. You could make out like a bandit with these games if you just understood. I always do what I say. Always. I always do what I say. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. What did you choose, Sigma? Betray. You didn't see me push the button? No. Huh, well, you know, in a moment. Oh no, what if it breaks? Let's go. Oh no. Oh no, I gave her a light part on the shoulder and head toward the wall where the results would be displayed. Oh no, what if this. Stop the count. Stop the count. No. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Oof. What the hell, Dio? Seriously? Dio doesn't give a shit. Dio will never lose points. Man, best boy. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. So you chose ally, huh? You idiot. Yeah. Quark is sick, a kid, and unable to move, uh, unable to vote. I couldn't bring myself to betray someone like that. Thank you. All right. Do 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 do. Okay, I feel like there's no ending here at all. No need to thank me. I only did what anyone would have. So you guys cho ally chose ally too, huh? Of course. What's? How is this gonna stop right here now? Ten Miyoji had only one BP left. And he was guaranteed to vote ally. So there's no way we could betray somebody in that position. If we had, then he'd... He'd... Okay. Best girl, but at the moment, just a nothing character, right? Like, the rest all have something going on, I think. You know, I still don't really know what's going on with, um, with Quark or where Quark is going. But at the moment, just a nothing character. Still probably one of my favorite characters in the game. I don't know why. Like, it's nice having someone that's just, like, completely consistent and just a rock the whole way through. Will always vote ally, is always friendly, is always trying to help the group. It's nice. You know, it's, it's not a bad part of the game or story at all. But just, like, you know, Risi Kujikawa. No, it's just... Right now, just nothing interesting about this character in terms of the overall mystery or plot or whatever. So I wonder what when that's going to happen. Alice, K, and Dio, on the other hand, seem to have had a less pleasant round. Hey. Hey, Dio. Get fucked, Alice. What the hell is your problem? <laughs> you. You're either crazy or just an asshole. Nah, I knew you were going to vote Betray. Why would you risk voting Ally? So why would I give you free points? Were you trying to kill me? No, nothing like that. Well, then, what was it like? If we'd voted ally, I'd... You would be dead. The needles in your bracelet would have activated, killing you. Oh, it would have been one of those slow deaths, too. One of those slow explosions. Oh, man. Oh, man. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Even if, you're, even if you were wearing clothes, your ribs would still be sticking out? Like, just blood everywhere? I didn't think there was any way in hell you guys would choose ally. Not with Alice's VP at one. The only way you could possibly vote was betray. Picking ally when I knew you guys would pick betray would have been suicide. And then from, from, I'll go draw a picture on the wall in your blood and it'll be a bloodhound. <laughs> you can't die. You've got six BP. Well, maybe not immediately, no. But I would have been signing my own death warrant. Heck, not just mine. Everyone except K's. What? Didn't you think it through? Your vote was always going to be betray. Let's say I was a raving lunatic and picked ally. What would happen at K's BP? Six plus three would make nine. Dio is so 
slimy when it comes to always having this justification for being a complete asshole, huh? He's so good. Always has uh, an out. See? Then it'd be game over. Life over. He'd open the number nine door and blow this popsicle stand. I love that saying. And that'd leave us twisting in the wind, living out the rest of our miserable lives stuck in this place. Definitely the superior See, clone. That's why I chose Betray. Aw, oh, man. I did it to save all our necks, including yours. And I have a lot of neck to save. Alice gritted her teeth and scowled fiercely at Dio, apparently trying to think of a rebuttal before finally snorting indignantly and stalking away. Get fucked, Alice! Shortly thereafter, the warehouse was filled with the rumbling sound of the door sliding shut. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. I'm seeing some what's in chat. I'm not sure if they if that's because of uh, get fucked Alice or because of the clone comment. So like imagine imagine missing a stream. Imagine missing a stream and now you don't know like like the chat meta and the jokes that that come in one stream. But imagine missing a stream of this game. Yeah, Dio is a clone. I'm not kidding. He's a he's a clone of some secret r religious society that um, basically started, you know, saying that, oh, the world is corrupt and needs to be cleansed. And then with the fundraising they did from that, pivoted into clone research. And, and Big Brother is in charge of it. And Brother had another brother named Left, which is probably their real name. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As many times as we want, huh? Metal Gear, then that we means... We can play the AB game as many times as we want, right? Hey, didn't Zero Jr. say something about this? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The parents Okay, so why would Dio says I'm a hero? So why what would he can't come in here to do? He knew he knew the bomb def defusal code, so he planted the bombs. I guess Brothers' research into clones also, you know, included antimatter bomb technology. So do Alice and Clover work against the Brother Corp, or is that just like is that? Like, how far-reaching is that? I don't... Like, what happened to the world? Are the clones immune to Radical Six? And they don't... And this is all about getting a cure, and they don't want the cure to come out, because then real people will come back, um, you know, against the clones? Hmm. That's the only thing I can think of that makes sense there. But... How... How... Did Dio know this was going on? And how did he sneak in? And why is the bunny... Like, why why set up this bunny thing? And... <sighs> if it was a controlled experiment for some reason, and they're trying to do something that, that the brother group doesn't want them to do, why make it this difficult and this convoluted? And why let the intruder go along with it? Like, did was the bunny reprogrammed in some way? Like, but if that's the case, like, why even go along with the game? Like, how are you, how are you pretending that you're a part of this when I don't get it? Let's keep going. Yeah, he did. Can you guys all show me your bracelets? I want to see what all our colors and groups are this time. With the moments, a series of wrists were extended for me to examine. I see. Luna and Clover are a cyan pair. Uh, Fi and Alice are a magenta pair. The remaining three are all solos. K is red, Dio is green, and I'm blue. So, how are the groups supposed to work for the next round? Sigma's blue, and so am I. I think the next doors are going to be the, those white ones down in the floor B warehouse. Yeah, I heard about those. Alice told me about them while we were here waiting for you and Clover. I think I've got them figured out. Yeah, so... 
lay it out for us. How are the groups going to, s to snake out this time? Well, I don't think there's going to be an escape room or anything. Like, we're done, right? Fine nodded and began to explain. Like, we are you done. There's an ending here. Option A, Temioji and Quark. Yellow, pair up with me, blue, to open one. Ooh, Temioji and Quark. That's interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. That's never happened before. Oh? Is there only one option? Yes. No other combinations would be able to open the secondary doors. Admittedly, Tenmyoji and Quark aren't here for us to check, but I'm sure they're the yellow pair. Is this the actually I'm Santa ending? If they weren't, then Sigma would be stuck without anybody he could pair up with. Oh god. I never thought I'd have to put up with Dio again. Well, you just didn't think hard enough then. Sooner or later, everybody puts up with Dio. Wait. Hmm. Not funny, didn't laugh. Not funny. So, um, what should we do David now? David, laugh. It looks like we have a lot of time until the primary doors open. Yeah, about 80 minutes. I'm worried about Quark's condition. Those pods can't cure Radical Six. He still needs help. Isn't it time for you to have a rad moment? Well, we don't have anything to lose. So we might as well look for that medicine. Excelivir, right? Excelivir. It's a weird name. Yeah. What about the rest of you? Oh, I'll help. As will I. Excuse me. As will I. Me too. Uh, fine. I guess I can help. What about you, Sigma? No, I'm good. Of course I'll help. What kind of a jerk would Okay. We should split up and search. Alright. Time for people to get picked off. But -ba -bum, but -bum, but -bum. After some discussion, Dio and Kay were assigned to the Panty, Luna and Alice to the treatment center, and Clover and Fi and myself to the pressure exchange chamber. What? Shall we regroup in the floor B warehouse ten minutes before the doors open? Yes, Yusuke. Oh, Yusuke! Yeah, yes, Yusuke, we shall. Yeah, very well. I will go along with this. We all nodded. Kay turned you to Alice to and said something. Center, correct? Yep. Yes. Then please remember to tell Tenmyoji where we intend to meet and when. Okay. You must also remember to bring Quark with you. I am concerned about removing him from the pod, but it can't be helped. What if it? Oh, it can't be helped. What if it is just Yusuke under there, and just it just and it just like ah fuck it. <laughs> Yusuke's in this game. <laughs> Without Quark's bracelet, Sigma and Tenmyoji will be unable to open the secondary door. Who the hell are you? Hi. At this point, I don't even know anymore. Right. <laughs> Good. Looks like we got all that straightened out. Let's go. The final nod. Oh, the yawns. I'm sorry. To one another, we split up, each team heading in a different direction. So this is the pressure exchange chamber. No, this is the prep room. There are two levels. The actual pressure exchange chamber is downstairs. I didn't say that. How do you know that? Alice told me. She was one of the people who investigated this room. Did you talk to her when you were waiting for us back in the warehouse? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's head downstairs good then. Good idea. I'm just full of good ideas, Clover. So this is the real Seems thing. like it. Why do they have something like this here? Well, this is just what Alice told me, but... Apparently the pressure inside the facility was a lot higher than the pressure outside. That was part of a system designed to keep the virus from getting in. It did mean, however, that we need to get through a decompression process in order to get outside. Remember all those suits along the wall of the prep room? It wasn't that much higher though, wasn't it? Couldn't you just safely walk out? Isn't, isn't it just 1.5? You know what? I don't know enough about pressure shit to say that. Those keep you from getting infected. 
We won't even be able to enter the pressure exchange chamber if we don't have them on. I see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Then that newspaper article was right? Unfortunately, that seems pretty likely. So the air out there is teeming with Radical Six. Yeah. Okay. What is it living on in the air? Something's been bothering me. Yeah. What is it? Aren't you saying that if we put on those suits, we can go into the pressure exchange chamber and go outside, right? Oh. No, we can't do that. The door beyond the pressure exchange chamber is locked up tight. Damn it. Just one door between us and freedom. Well, if you look at it that way, it's the same as the number nine door. Okay, but when when the bunny said that it was... No, it wasn't the bunny. When the bunny said that the game was over, it specifically said all other doors have been unlocked. Does that include this one? Okay, yeah, but... Holy... If it does, then that's phenomenally fucking stupid. Whatever. We what need about... to be focusing on finding that Excelivir. What about the rusted one in the second bay, bay cargo bay area? Because if not, then the announcer is lying when it said that every other door has been opened. This is not true. It's a lie. They made it up. It's a fiction. Quark needs it. It's welded shut. Not locked. What is welding? But if not, another name for locking a door. Like what is a locked door really? You know, like just because the key is you know another welding gun to 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 melt the the weld seam again like what like come on come on yeah you're right i'll go look around upstairs you two take this floor all right <laughs> okay. got it We looked everywhere we could think of, but turned up nothing. <laughs> I'm the lockpicking lawyer. <laughs> hello, everyone. No, what does he say? Does he say hello, everyone? Hello, hello, everyone. I'm the lockpicking lawyer, and today we finally met my match. However, as you can now buy on my store, I have my trusty blowtorch. I'm going to take it to the seams of this door and crank it up to 11. Here I go. And as you can see, it's just that easy. I am now through the door, and I can eat my Doritos. Eventually, I couldn't keep my mouth shut any longer. Hey, do you think the deal? What do you, what do you think the deal is with this stuff about the world being infested with some crazy virus? A pandemic seems like it would make the news, but I don't remember hearing anything. Wait a minute. You mentioned it, didn't you? Back when Dio was asking questions. We were in the infirmary. It was right after Quark lost it. Have any of you guys heard anything about any sort of viral pandemic? Well, no, but... And then Alice said... I have heard rumors about a virus being used as a bioweapon. Oh, the, bro the brother company! Free, free your soul! Made Radical Six! They're, that's how they're cleansing the world and their clones are immune to it. That's it for sure. That's it for sure. So what's the rumor she was talking about? So this is all about trying to cure radical. What about the the fucking recording where they're on the moon or Mars and it's like, oh no, I killed everyone. What what the fuck is that shit? Is it is it like they they were the only ever everywhere on Earth is infested with radical six, but but the, the people that were on the Martian or Moon base weren't. So, cause, cause they got away before that, so they're the only place that can make the cure. And now we're trying to like mimic what they did there. So I don't even know what the fuck is going on. It's got something to do with with some other some other. This is a recreation of something, clearly. So what's the rumor she was talking about? I got the feeling you and Alice were talking about the same thing. Clover, what do you know? Oh man, if only we could, if we only we still had access to that Mars base, we could use them to create a cure in, in a sterile, clean environment. But it's too bad that one of them went fucking crazy t 10 years ago, and now we can't use that to make the cure. And then fucking June and Santa and the rest of the Scooby gang bust in and are like, no, Mr. President, we have a plan. 
the bunny, what? We did this. We saved her. She's a ghost, and we can do it. And the, and everyone's like, get these crazy people out of there. And the president's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I want to, I want to hear him out. And they're like, yeah, let's. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a replica of the whole Martian moon base thing and send people in there that kind of match, but also you know make a bunny AI to go crazy. And then we'll and then that through the morphogenetic field that you are only just learning about right now, it's gonna send the message back in time to before the killing one off on the killing spree in Mars and then they'll be able to get the cure on Mars and then they'll be able to give it to us and then you know you know vice president holds up his hand and is like well why don't we just use the morphogenetic field to go back in time and stop them from making radical six and the president's like shut up Larry we're doing this to make the cure on the Martian base that's what we're doing begin construction of the real <laughs> am I close <laughs> what are you and Alice anyway <laughs> I heard you guys wanted some sort of organization, but what, what is this? What is it? <laughs> Clover was quiet for a long time. She bit her thumbnail and looked down at the floor. <laughs> then finally she lifted her head and met, met my eyes. Fine. Good coffee. Fine. I think I can trust you. Okay. Just don't tell Alice, okay? Okay. I hate Alice. Don't worry. We don't talk. All right. Promise? I promise. <laughs> promise. Aren't we supposed to be searching for Xelvier? Clover nodded and began to talk. I listened with rapt attention and a complete loss for words. Here is what she said. Alice and I are agents of the Sois. Save our The I is a J. Save our jumpy souls, which is under the jurisdiction of the Department of Fa Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. So it stands for Special Office of Internal Security. No, it doesn't. And we're an elite intelligence division that investigates potentially disruptive or dangerous elements such as domestic or foreign terrorists, pol radical political splinter groups, and religious organizations with extreme agendas ag agendas that could pose a threat to the state of to the state or citizenry. Okay, how the fuck did you join Clover? How did Alice join this? It's been a year. Our existence hasn't been made public, so there are only a few people who even know we exist. You're probably wondering how we even got involved in something like that, huh? Well, I'm not gonna tell you. Well, sorry, when I met Alice. Is this the Clover ending? I told you I played the Nonary game twice before, right? Well, this was after the second time, so about a year ago, we just escaped and we were all stuffed into this SUV barreling across the desert. Okay, I was driving, and that's when I saw her. What the f Fuck Alice. She was standing next to the road with a thumb out, but it turns out she's just another woman named Alice. She was already working for the- What do you mean she was already working for the- She beat him far away to the building while I'm in mean, this part of this game, and this is her getup? What do you mean? But on the way there, she the car had broken down. What? We offered to give her a ride, of course. After she got in, we started talking, and it turned out that Alice had gotten a tip that the terrorist was as she was after the building being trapped. Is, is it just coincidence? It's That's just how she dresses, and it just so happens her name is Alice. We couldn't see how us playing the nonary game had anything to do with the terrorists, but Alice had a suggestion. What if it was? Maybe the two people who trapped you in there are the terrorists. That didn't seem very likely to us, but we were chasing after them anyway, so we decided to bring Alice with us. Unfortunately, we didn't find them. Really? As far as we know, they're still out there now on the run. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. But what about the mummy? Anyway, we were taken back to Soas headquarters and put into custody. I guess they thought there had, been, had to be some kind of connection between us being kidnapped and the terrorist group they were investigating. But they must not have found anything because after a few days of questioning, they let us go. We all went home and returned to our. Is that why? So, so all of you in SOIS just dress in just the most ridiculous costumes possible. Is that why you're dressed like that and she still dresses a mummy? But things didn't go back to the way they'd been. My mom got real worried about me and my brother since we'd gotten kidnapped twice now, so she hired bodyguards for it. <laughs> it, it, took, it took two times. <laughs> Wait, you, but, but... 
I haven't told you about my brother, have I? He's super awesome for one, and he was in both the last two Nunner games too. He's in this one as well. So anyway, we've been grabbed. Oh, 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 just glossing over that. Okay, uh, but the, the people behind the two Nunner games are totally different. The, that didn't matter to my mom though. So after all that, all these huge men in black suits follow me and and, and my brother everywhere. And, the, and my mom got scared and they said, you're gonna move with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. It was awful. It was terrible. The only one animal. We were always being watched. People who would look at us funny because we were being followed around by a bunch of creepy looking guys. I couldn't stand it. Just when I thought I'd, I'd finally be free, all that was waiting for me was another kind of prison. And that's when Alice appeared and was like, we'd like you to join the Avengers initiative. And the only time I was really happy was when I was hanging out with my brother. So we were talking over one day and we decided to leave. Lamayo, like run away. So we did it. After that, we lived on our own. Okay. This all happened in a year, by the way. I worked in a cafe and he composed music. He plays the harp and he started writing this kind of new agey music and it, it got kind of popular so we didn't have to worry too much about surviving. What? Sometimes he'd play at, a little, uh, play at little venues like coffee houses and stuff and his fans would show up and listen to him and play and cry. <laughs> what the fuck? Or some of them would meet on their own and recite stuff from, from the book he'd written and play his songs. And I started, and everyone ever only heard me call him brother, so that was his name, brother. And through his musical career, he started getting really popular and got a really big following. I didn't really follow it all that much though, so I don't know what he's doing. He could be a cult leader or something by now, I don't know. I know that sounds kind of like weird and culty, but the fuck? But they just do the stuff on their own, okay? My brother doesn't have anything to do with it, okay? Anyway, we did that for a while, and then one day Alice showed up. I need your help, she told us. We need people who can do what you can do. So we went to the location she gave us, and it turned out to be the headquarters of the SOIS, where they'd taken us after the second Nunnery game. They put us in a room with about a dozen or so other people who were all about the same age as us. A bunch of them looked familiar, too. It only took a moment to realize how we knew each other. They were the kids from the first Nunnery game. We were all excited to see each other again, and we were hugging and shaking hands and stuff. And then Alice walked in, and the whole room went quiet. She walked up to the podium and looked around the room, making eye contact with each one of us. Right now, a terrorist organization is preparing for a major attack. They plan to trigger a viral pandemic. If they succeed, they will strike a massive blow against all of humanity, not just any one country. It's possible that we, as a species, will die out completely. We are doing our best to prevent this, but we need your help. You are what we call espers. What the fuck? You have the ability to access the morphogenic field. We need that. I thought everyone could do it. I'm guessing you don't know what any of that is, but basically we can do this thing that's kind of like tele telepathy. I mean, it isn't really telepathy. Am I saying that right? Tele telepathy? Telepathy? Telepathy. But that's probably the closest thing, okay? Espers can resonate their consciousness with another person through this thing called the morphogenic field. The purpose of the first Nonary game was to research that ability. So they kidnapped kids who had the potential to do it and then threw them into the game. Alice had gathered up all the kids from that experiment. Well, I mean, it had been nine years since it happened, so we weren't really kids anymore. Anyway, everybody she'd brought in was an Esper. That including me and my brother, of course. I bet you think I'm just making this, I'm making all this up, huh? I don't blame you. It was pretty crazy. I mean, I was even starting to forget I could do that stuff. It, it's been like a year. So when Ali, when I heard Alice's story, was I was like, screw that. I was trying to move on with my life and now some shady government creeps wanted me to use some weird ability I had for them? No way. But then the snake turned to me and said, no, 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 I, I'm the group. We, we need to stay here and, and work undercover against them. You trust me, don't you, Clover? And I was like, oh yeah, I do. Of course I do. And then that, that's what we did. I wasn't even sure I could do it anymore. Some of the others felt differently though. And they told Alice they'd do it. It was a job after all, and most people wouldn't turn down a salary. Like, oh, you're, you're, you guys are getting paid? Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. She told us how much they pay us. If we got, this is important. It was a lot, more wealth than you can imagine. I can imagine a, a lot, but it was, I was still totally against doing it. My brother told me he'd go along with whatever I decided, so I decided we were leaving. Just play the harp some more, Snake. A couple days passed and then Alice showed up at our apartment. Why aren't you saying your brother's name? So she didn't waste time. Why aren't you saying your brother's name? Is your brother's name just brother? Clover? Why aren't you saying your brother's name? The people behind the the first nonary game might have been part of the terrorist organization Alice and the SOIS were after. Wasn't that she asked something that I might want to know more about? No, that got me curious. My brother too. But then the, but the clincher was that what Seven said to us. Who the fuck is Seven? He was the one of the guys that got abducted with us for the second nonary game. She called him on her phone right then and there and handed it to us. You guys are the only people who can do this. We don't know where Jumpy is. He's gone off to travel the world looking for Akane. <laughs> <laughs> I would be able to get a hold of him. Clover. Clover. This is fucking Wendy's. What the 
fuck are you talking about? Please, just do me a favor and help us out. Jumpy equals like seven. Another participant from the second notary game. What the fuck is this storytelling? Akane, one of the people behind the second notary game. Seven was a Japanese policeman, which is probably how Alice got in touch with him. What was his name? Anyway, that was, that did it. My brother and I agreed to join the SOIS. For the next couple of months, all we did was train. Half of the time it was general knowledge and technical skills an SOIS agent needed, and the other half was learning to strengthen our Esper abilities. They'd actually known about Espers for quite a while and had a lot of techniques that helped us get better and stronger. Okay, well, you, you suck, Clover, because, like, you're not jumping at all. After several months of hard work, we were finally ready for our first field missions. Mine was an infiltration. My brother stayed at the base so I could relay, relay information back through him. I was supposed to sneak into a research facility, posing as one of their workers, and then use the morphogenic field to transmit what I found back to my brother. Wait, what do you mean? So, you're just... You're just... They're just using you as radios? Just... This this could be an email. What what the fuck do you mean? Just go in and then there's some... Whoa, now we can... Long distance communication. Whoa, we finally have the technology. And then Larry holds up his hand and is like... Um... What about self... Shut up, Larry. I, but... <laughs> Everything went wrong. It was a trap. Oh no, the whole research facility was a fake and I got captured in this. <laughs> what do you mean it was a fake? They set up a whole research facility just to capture one of your fucking Esper. I, I can talk to people long distance without a cell phone, people. That was it. Like that. What do you mean? What kind of fucking playground escalation horseshit is this? Alice had come to come rescue. Of course she did. I'd be sending. You were worth rescuing. I'd be sending information about the inside of the facility. My brother. That was all fake, by the way. And Alice used the information to come and find me. Also, the fake was set up by my brother. As soon as it turned out that the field was coming from inside the facility. As soon as she, I guess she got out there, she picked me up and carried me out. <laughs> I was relieved and happy to be alive and free, but I also felt ashamed and miserable. While she was carrying me back out, I started to cry. Secret agent, by the way. She was just so cool, and I wasn't. Get fucked, Alice. I wanted to be just like her. So from that day onward, I did everything I could be to more like Alice. No wonder, no wonder you're insufferable from the first game. Our inf infiltration ended in a failure, but we did manage to get something useful. What? From the fake facility? In fact, we were able to figure out where the headquarters was. Oh, the directors decided that December 25th, 2028 would be the day we would strike. This time I promised myself we wouldn't screw it up. I was finally going to get some, some answers. Shit. That had been with me for most of my life. But it turned out that their headquarters was another fake. But then on December 22nd, three days before the raid, Alice and I were attacked by people in gas masks. <laughs> we were going over our plans. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is going on? Oh my god, but it turns out this is the headquarters. <laughs> and when you woke up, you were in the warehouse. Yeah. All of that talking seemed to have tried tired Clover out. She sighed and her long hair swayed as she moved. Hey, I've got a few questions. Who the fuck is Seven? What's your brother's name? Who the fuck is Jumpy and Akane? Okay, so... The gas mask thing, like, is... Like... Akane comes back again and is like, Yo, your shit's whack. Your plan sucks. Jump Jumpy agrees. Jumpy, Jumpy even wrote these lines for me. Um, we're gonna do it this way. Here we go. We'll sort this all out again with another nonary game. Because that's the only way we know how to solve problems. What are they? Well, first off, what the fuck? Your uh, powers, I guess. I'm guessing you can't use them right now. Yeah, I'm not really sure why. I've been sending my brother messages ever since I woke up, but... <laughs> it's almost like he's surrounded by three inches of lead and it's blocking it out. Like his whole body is encased in lead, but I can still sense that he's moving, but I don't, I just don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> no response. Yeah. If there was another Esper here, they could make me stronger. 
but that's just wishful thinking. Oh, that sucks. Sorry. Wait. Well, if there's someone else who's stronger than me, then they kind of absorb my powers. What? Maybe. You're, you're like reverse rogue. What do you mean? No, never mind. That's probably not it. We're the X Men. You're just fucking riffing over there, huh? What is this face? All right, whatever. I have some other questions, so moving on. I think I understand what Alice was talking about. Okay, hold on. Uh, hold on. The way that she explained it is not at all like we use it. So I guess it wouldn't be like, hey, you know, I, I need to tell you something. Never mind. They were trying to spread that virus, yeah. right? Okay, so who are no, they? I can't tell you that. Are all of them gonna be this absolutely ridiculous? Like, am I gonna just go off on every single one? That was amazing. What? Why not? You told me all all the other stuff. This is too well, much. Alice would be mad at me. Oh, who cares about Alice? I already told you I wouldn't tell her. Fine. Let me rephrase. When are they going to do it? Well, if we knew that, we wouldn't have gone to all that trouble. Yeah, with the fake research center and the fake headquarters. So you don't know clover did you ever meet anyone else from the sois apart from alice is this just alice's group did she just trick you into this no all we know is soon soon but that could mean just about anything yeah. it could be next week or next month or even next year this this the motherfuckers that made the first game put the cliffhanger of that fucking mummy hitchhiking at the end of that and then was like patted themselves on the back gonna sleep well tonight went to bed and then they made a sequel and we're, and we're like well shit what are we what, what's that gonna be what are we gonna do about that it can't actually be the mummy i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do oh i know let's just make it so it's just so happens to be like you know there was someone there dressed like this at the same time hitchhiking and their car broke down and they're part of secret society likes to dress up in ridiculous clothes and is her name actually alice eh maybe it's not maybe she just calls herself alice now because they called her alice when she got in the car and she was like fuck it i guess i'm alice now you know or it could have happened already <laughs> Wait, you mean they might have already released the virus? Would that make the most sense? Like, how about this room? Or that newspaper article? And the three people who were put in cold sleep. Are you saying you, me, and Alice were frozen and the pandemic happened while we were on ice? Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. You can't freeze Alice. Nobody else has heard of Radical Six either. Maybe they're lying. Really? All six of well, them? Well, if Kay really does have memory loss, then it's only five. Oh yeah, Kay has... <laughs> what kind of fucked up crazy game is it that I forgot that one of the characters has amnesia? is out too. <laughs> so you're saying Timmy OG, Deofi, and Luna are all lying. Hmm, I guess they are a little suspicious. They are a little right? sus, yeah. <laughs> what's their motive? The they just like to lie, Lamayo. How would I know? Then what's the, the motive for a terrorist organization to start a, a pandemic? I heard it was something about purifying the unclean. Oh man, we're getting some big Dio cult vibes right now. <laughs> purifying the unclean. Oh, oh. Unclean. Unclean. You need a shower? Unclean. Unclean. Clean. Unclean. 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 One more? What? What are you doing? Shut up. Just hold on a minute. I'm this close to remembering. Okay, do you have amnesia too? Unclean. Clean. Clean. Table. Clean. And? Clean. Ian, Ann, N, Mario? Ian! Ian? Ian? She left up, suddenly excited. Neo stick mean! G Whoa! <laughs> Neo, what? Did you forget it already? I'm talking about this stuff! As she spoke, she pulled something out of her pocket. 
It was the injection gun complete with a vial of medication. It makes you super strong like the Hulk, and you can rip off that welded door now. Here you go. You use it. This is this is what it's for. No, how how did you get unclean to clean to een to neostigmine? What? All oh, right, I remember that. It was in the safe in the treatment center, right? Yeah. I didn't have any idea what it was though, so I gave it to you. It boosts morphogenetic power. It, it's an Esper boost. It's juice for Esper. It's, it's meth for Esper abilities. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Are you saying you heard this neostigmine stuff before? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just remembered. You remembered? My brother told me about that. Okay, how does he know about it? Neostigmine is a type of colon esterase inhibitor. Okay, what the fuck is that? That means it's a sort of antidote for tubocurine. Okay. What? Um, sorry, but I still don't get it. Okay, but we'll still- we- we get a dose of Sopro before that, right? How easy do I have to make it? Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll start at the top, alright? The stuff I've got in here is Neostigmine, which counteracts the muscle relaxant Tubocurine. Okay. Following me? Yeah. <laughs> Tubercurian is the poison in our breasts, it's right? Right. It's the second thing we get injected with if we're penalized. First is the silver pill, <clears throat> which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the tubercurian is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. So you're saying this neosigmine keeps it from working. All right, so at some point on this path, we're going to have to lose our bracelet through through triggering it and then be like, no, now we need the, the, the neosigmine. The, psh, nine minutes later, five, trust me. Okay, so that's an, that's another one unlocked, okay? So what do we have so far? We have the code, the code for the, for the, we need the code for the computer, uh, the admin thing for the ninth lion. Um, we have the code for the zero, zero bomb. Um, we know that Clover's not wearing any underwear. We need Kay's favorite color. Um, we need this this injection thing. Okay. What else do we need? Um, we need to know what's in Quark's helmet, um, and uh, we need to know who Tenmyoji really is. Okay. There you go. And that, that, what, yeah, what does what does Bikoi have to do with this? Yes. Oh my God. How many times are you going to make me say it? We need the blood of an innocent, which means we have to take some blood from Luna. So we can just inject ourselves with it if we get penalized. Yeah. No, there's only an enough for one. We don't have to die. We're going to be okay. We can only pull the trigger once, though. Yeah, all right. So we have to be really fast by switching it between people after we pull the trigger. That means we're going to use a one person. No, just hold it down and just go neck to neck. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Well, still good, still good news. This means that one of us can break the rules once. Like, let's the see. The best way to use it would be for sneaking through the number nine door. If somebody gets nine points, they can open it, right? With this stuff, somebody who doesn't have nine points could still leave with them. Anyway, hmm. I'm gonna go tell Alice. What? Hey, Clover, wait, Clover. Clover, it was too late. Clover was already on the lift and gone. Damn. I was, I think, understandably upset. With no stairs, my only choice was to wait for the lift to come back down. But it never did. As soon as it was back, I jumped on and headed upstairs. Fi, you won't believe the day I just had. Fi, let me tell you. Fi, Fi, where did Clover go? Uh-oh, is it Radical Six time? Fi, can you hear me? She didn't say anything, just stared at me with her mouth half open. Her eyes seemed slightly glazed and her body was unnaturally stiff. Uh, Fi? I grabbed a shoulder and shook her gently. Slowly, she raised her arm, fingers drooping limply from it. Wow, Clover just ran past you, not giving a fuck, huh? She gestured toward the exit that led away from the warehouse. That way? She went out that door? Fi's only answer was a slow, shallow nod. Right, got it, thanks. And then we just left her. I headed for the exit, then paused. Whoa, she's acting kind of funny. You look pretty tired. She gets some what? Get some rest, all right? Okay, later. Still no response. There was something odd about her, but catching Clover seemed like more of a priority. What? And 
then we just said no one left. I turned back around and chalked out the door toward the treatment center. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Man, Fi needs to get some sleep. Oh my god. Alright, who's dead in here now? Everyone. Huh? This is weird. Where is everybody? I'd assumed Alice would be in the treatment center, so Clover would have gone there to find her, but... The room was empty. Luna and Temyoji were gone too. They'd left Quark, and the readout on his pod still said his vital signs were still normal. As far as I could tell, he was still asleep. Fine. Guess it's time to look. go look somewhere else. Time to the map screen. The best of the map screen. I made my way out of the treatment center. Alright, so Alice is dead in the crew, crew quarters again. Luna's dead next to her. Clover and Temioji are tied up to the sink again. Kay and Dio have killed themselves in the game room. move this time what the hell what is going on here I can't find anybody every single room is empty really that's interesting wait there's still one place I haven't checked the casino the infirmary uh Are they just following behind him and every single time he goes in one room they move to another? Is it fuck with Sigma hour? Okay, everyone's dead in the infirmary. I ran into the room and stopped short. I might as well have run into a brick wall. My chest tightened so much I could barely breathe. No, what? What happens? I felt my whole body convulse, whether from terror or nausea, I couldn't tell. My legs went limp and I crumpled to the floor. Something sticky pressed against the palm of my hand. I looked down to see blood. A vast warm pool of fresh blood stretching out across the room, lapping at my legs and hands. Why? This can't be real. How could everyone stab themselves in the chest? Everybody. They all lined up and did it. Oh my god. <laughs> what the f <laughs> In the middle of a lake of lake of blood like an island of flesh were bodies they were all bloody tangled lifeless limbs and dead eyes with too much blood and chaos for me to tell who was who okay so where's Kay had they sliced themselves open or stabbed one another I couldn't tell all the blood too much blood whatever they'd done it was clear what tool they'd used to do it all right check all their thighs for hidden messages a scalpel lay in the blood next to them, its handle and blood streaked with gore. Okay, now it's our turn. Stab yourself with the scalpel. This is how they died. This tiny blade. Oh god. This is it. It's all over. This is how it ends. That's right. I have to end it. This is nightmare finally be over. Time to wake up. My fingers scra scraped across the floor as I picked up the scalpel. I lifted it slowly carefully to my neck as if someone were guiding my hand with theirs. And drew it across my throat. Oh man, I hope we're okay. So radical six is a is a it's the despair disease. God damn it. God <sighs> There's only two of these killing game VNs. How are they so alike? What the fuck anime?
Do do. Okay, can we skip? We can skip. Okay, cool. So what? What? This is the clover ending. Yeah, clover ending. Okay, everyone's dead in the clover ending. Achievement unlocked. Secret agent woman. Cool. All right. All right. Cool. 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 All right. Let's go back and betray a kid. This is gonna be a bad end. There's no way there's an actual ending here. What did you choose, Sigma? Betray. You didn't see me push the button? No. Huh. Well, you'll know in a moment. What do you want to do after that is up to you. You can come with me if you want, or you can stay here. Wow, I wonder what I wonder what you chose. Your choice. That's as good as saying you chose Betray. Damn, you're so smart. Huh, I didn't say that. I grin and head toward the display. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Wait, if she comes through with us, if anyone comes through with us, we have the um the antidote that they'd survive. Huh. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Come on, Fi. Vote betray. God damn it, Fi. Ooh. Blame Clover. It was Clover. She seduced me. It was Clover. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. What did you do, Clover? Sorry. It wasn't me. It was, though. Sigma, huh? Yeah. Care to explain this, then? You're not the boss of me. Get away. <laughs> What's there to explain? It's exactly what it looks like. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, 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 exactly. What? Yeah. Are you going with him, Clover? It's up to her. I... I... When they all turned to look at Clover, I made my move. <laughs> yes! Yes! I beat found across the middle door, middle floor of the warehouse as I ran for the number nine door. Hey, wait! <laughs> He'd have to do better than shout if he wanted to stop me. It was I was closer. I was almost there. It took one less running leap, and then Fi was there in front of me and slammed into the wall, unlocking the device right in front of me. With a yell of triumph, I threw the lever down, and then I spoke some Latin. The door began to, mo to open. A heavy metallic grinding noise filled the room. Shit. That son of a bitch actually did it? His voice sounded almost surprised. I turned to face him. Sorry, but it looks like this is goodbye. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll go to the police as soon as I get out and come back with help. I'm not going to just leave you all here to die. Give me that shit. I know a liar when I see one. Whoa. I'm not lying, really. Maybe you should get your eyes checked. Ho, 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 got him. Damn, he has a point. Are you guys just gonna let him run off like this? No way. I can't allow that. What do you mean? What, like, the door's never opening again. Just let me go. He took advantage of a sick kid. Shut up, Alice. He's just a coward. Yeah, okay. Agreed. I also agree. That's it, then. Let's get him. Just run through. Ready? Yeah. Sigma! He's toast. Run through! Just leave it to us. Hey now, you're an all-star. Don't do anything you'll regret. This door only opens once, you know. If you stop Give me, then. Up. Charge! Shit! I spun back around to face the door. There it was, right in front of me. Freedom for the soul. I leapt for it, or at least I tried. God damn it, Sigma! You suck. It happened in the blink of an eye. So sure, everyone lets Clover go, and everyone lets Phi go, but no one lets Sigma go. Having blink of eye, suddenly my cheek was being pressed against the cold steel floor of the warehouse. Clover, you go on through. You didn't vote. Oh, okay, thank you. See you later. Also, Alice, I have this injection. You can come with me. Oh, wow, thank you. 
The number nine door has been opened. Clover wasn't dumb enough to monologue. She did monologue. She was like, I did listen, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I, I'm listening right now. It will remain open for nine seconds. Shit, let me go. Let me let go of me, damn it. I could feel something huge, heavy, and metal press against my back. Kay had me had to be holding me down. Or Alice. I flailed and kicked, but it didn't do any good. What are you doing? You're just killing yourselves. The door only opens once if I don't. I go, Clover. Fu uh, surely two people better than one? What if there's something really- I hate this character so much. Huh? You're the only one of us with 9 VP. Nobody else can get out. But this is an order from your commanding officer. Shut up, Alice. You are to escape from this facility. Once you've accomplished that, call for help. That's- Stop complaining and go. If that door closes, it's all over. None of us will get out of here alive. Nine seconds, by the way. Please! The door had, had already begun to close. The space was narrowing quickly, but was still wide enough for a single person to make it through. Fine. Quark didn't even die. He's still alive. It's not like we killed him. He still has four points. Fine. You didn't leave me much choice. I couldn't see what had happened, but I heard enough to guess. Alice has shoved Clover through the door. Not again! Looking up, I could see Clover's feet just beyond the doorway. Alice! Go! Call for help! I'm counting on you! Alice! No! I can't! The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Is anyone else actually genuinely furious right now? Like I'm legit mad. Like like I'm like <laughs> like at the characters, not the game. Like I'm legitimately angry. Like it just like what the hell? Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number 9 door have been unlocked. Including the welded one? Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. Bad end, game over. Okay. All right, so what was this one? There isn't enough uh, antiviral medication. Lock number four. Okay, we don't have that one. We don't have that one. Um, why is there no lock here? That's kind of weird. How do we stop Phi? Lock number eight. How? Who planted the bomb? Lock number nine. There's no lock down here. Okay. Wait, hold on. I know who planted the bomb. I know who... It was Dio. I know who planted the bomb. Can I unlock that now? Because Dio is the one... Dio is the one who knew the codes. I guess just because Dio knows the codes doesn't necessarily mean he's the one that planted the bombs. He just might have found out the codes at some point. But it seems very, very likely that um that uh that he is the one that planted the bombs um so what, what are we gonna do now um should we go back and see if that works actually let's go see i'll just skip through to the end No. Okay, so what one are we doing? 
Um, I kind of feel like I want to go back over and do this one over here. And go here, and then here, and then here. So that's what I'm doing. We have to betray... Oh, we have to betray Luna! Ooh. Oh no, we already betrayed Luna. Never mind. I swallowed. I, Alice and I will... Um, shit. We weren't allowed to go through the door with Clover last time, right? So go through the blue door with Kay? Alice K, the blue door! What? We should hurry. We took off toward the door to run. I glance back over my shoulder to see the others heading to the respective doors. This is the first room with K, isn't it? Fi, Dio, and Clover were head toward the green door, while Tamioji carried Quark toward the red door, followed by Luna. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Will we finally be coggers, chat? Wait, three doors? It appears they are all locked. Is this the dead end? What's that thing over there? Okay, are we on the right one? Okay, yeah, this is the right one. Okay, so we have we have never done this one before, I don't think. So, green, blue, red here. So that's red and that's green. Interesting. All right, blue. It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. Does that lever move? Only one way to find out. Hell yeah. Well, that was easy enough. It only opened the door on the right, though. And we are likely meant to go there. How do we get the other doors to I open? I have no idea. There do not seem to be any other mechanisms which might cause them to unlock. I don't think that's really something we should be worrying about right now. We have a door that's open. We should go through it. You are correct. There is little to be achieved by remaining here. True, it's pretty true. Forward it is then. Or right, I guess. Oh, it's this room. Cool. All right. What's this room all about? We get some luminol in here. What is this place? The rec room, apparently. With real weapons. Oh, you didn't see it. There was a plate on the door. It said rec room, as I recall. Shut up, Alice. No one likes you. Short for recreation, one might assume. Can you kill her, please? How ironic. I doubt recreation is foremost on any of our minds right now. Okay, the pool and darts I get, but... What's all the suits of armor? Seems kind of weird. If you think the armor's weird, check that thing out. Oh, is it your face? Is that a ride? Oh, it's one of those things that are outside of some uh, grocery stores. Yeah, I see them in front of grocery stores all the time. You put a coin in and it kind of rocks around. You must have gone on one at least once when you were a kid. Were you ever a kid, Alice? I have no memory of doing so, but it is possible. Little robo K on one of these. <laughs> Does this mean that we, we were all, we were, what the, does this thing mean there were kids here at some point? No, I don't think so. I guess it's part of someone's collection. That seems like an exceedingly odd thing to collect. Yeah, people collect weird things. I collect bad takes. So this place is a lounge, some sleeping quarters, and now this rec room. It's like we're on some kind of luxury cruise liner. Now that you mention it. It does give the impression that people are supposed to stay here for an extended period of time. They have a small but well-stocked infirmary. Anyone here would be able to treat at least minor injuries and illnesses. So you think this room is to help people keep from going out of their minds with boredom? Yes. Relaxation is important in an isolated environment. Everything anybody needs to live without leaving. I guess they're planning to keep us here for a while, huh? Well, that's not happening. Let's just find those moon card things and get out of here. Ah, there's a door over there. No good. Won't open. Looks like it's locked up tight. In other words, the moon cards must be in this room somewhere. No shit. Right then, let's find them. So 
seek a way out. Okay. What's this supposed to be a picture of? Uh, pool balls or billiard balls? Is that what they call it in America? They're those balls from that kid's show, right? If you collect seven of them, you get a wish. But there's more than twice that here. Oh, then it's a set of billiard balls. Yeah, billiard balls. Then, look, I think it's probably a hint. Just grab it and bring it with you. You have obtained a poster with pool balls on it. You can review it on the in the archive. The six and nine are upside down. A safe. Let's try and negito it. No. <laughs> Cast a shadow on here. Looks like this extension cord is plugged into the ride, but I'm not sure why. What do you mean? It's probably it's there so the ride can get power. That's not what I mean. There's way, there's way too much slack. It doesn't look like the ride's cord power cable is long enough without the extension cord. Then let's take the extension cable with us. Don't forget to plug the ride back into the outlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, that's weird. This was connected to the Zero Junior ride. It's got a pretty long cable in it. Insert coin. Is it a sun coin? It's one of those rides that, like, you can see in front of the grocery store. Looks like Zero Junior. I get the feeling someone's laughing at us. I don't like it. I thought you'd be used to that by now. Looks like this box is connected to the ride somehow, but why? I can't say for sure, but don't rides often require payment in order to run? Yeah, but I don't see anywhere to put, stick a coin in. Can we close the lion? Coggers. There seems to be a slot in the mouth. A blue box with a lion's face on it. One of the lower corners has a circular keyhole. Okay. So where are we getting a coin? Hey Alice, what's the deal with that screen over the pool table? I think it's a scoreboard. Okay. A pool table, huh? Looks as though a piece of the, of the felt has been torn off. Billiard balls. All right, let's color them. Are those pool balls? Look rather odd though. Aren't pool balls usually painted in a variety of colors? These appear to be all white, although they are numbered. Hmm, well, might as well try using them with a the table. Scrap of felt, huh? I wonder why this is felt damp. Presumably because it's been soaked in something. Looks like these are all the same thing. Do you think we're supposed to pick the, pick the right bottles or something? Hope not, they all look exactly like to me. Then just take whichever one you want. All right, and we have ruined the puzzle. Miscalculated, this is luminol. Then it must be luminol spray. No, not really, it could be a lie. It reacts with certain things such as blood and glows with a very faint bluish white light. It is often used in forensic investigations. Huh, what are you supposed to do with it? Maybe you could spray it on the pool table. The pool table, why? When I was examining, examining it earlier, I noticed a few areas where it looked like something had been wiped off. If it was blood, all right, let's spray K and, and turn light off and see if his suit is covered in blood. An automatic scoreboard, huh? Nice. Oh, it's darts. Kind of weird darts, though. We have some darts, we could play a game or two. A dartboard, you have some darts to get a game going. Does this explain how darts work? Apparently, I wonder if these are instructions for the dart scoreboard here. Are these the rules darts normally uses? No, I have no idea. It's not at all, no. I have no idea. This isn't darts just a way to flirt with girls? Yeah, a little bit. I guess just I guess some people use it that way, but darts is a legitimate and dignified indoor sport for, for gentlemen. I don't know if all dart rules are the are, are the same by the way or what the standard rules is, but I always thought it was weird growing up that um the the bullseye wasn't the highest scoring point on the dartboard. It was like was it the triple one a couple up above it? Like like that that was always it was it really I hated that. Like surely the bullseye should be the most important one on there, but no, it was it was up there. Um, uh, 
it was what the top one was it 12 or or 30 and it was like you have a single a double and a, and a triple you know it was hated that i guess some people use it that way but darts is a legitimate identified indoor sport for gentlemen yeah okay what where you compete to see how many girls you can get yes what the hell happened to you everyone knows girls loves love seeing darts being thrown into a into a board The better a man is at, at penetrating a dartboard with a dart, you know, the better he is at something else. Everyone knows that. That's a pretty fancy fixture. My god! <gasps> oh, that's an amazing pose. This deer must have been phased halfway through the wall and then gotten stuck. How horrific. That's just a mounted head. It's decoration. Ah, it's decorative. I did think it had extraordinarily long legs. Oh, how nostalgic. This is a jukebox. It plays an old form of music media known as a record. With the push of a few buttons, you can listen to your favorite song. Records are coming back, actually, Kay. Looks like it's not plugged in. There's an outlet over there, but I don't think the cable is long enough. It won't reach. It doesn't look like it. Guess we can use, can't use the jukebox right now. Just move the jukebox. Wait, Sigma. I think you've got the solution right there. Yes, these guns. Move, move out of the way. All right, here we go. Indeed, you could. You might say extend the reach of the jukebox cable. Now get to it. Hmm. If I connect the extension cord to the power cable, then plug it into the outlet. The extension cord is connected and plugged in. Unfortunately, it seems that isn't quite enough. I believe we'll need to insert a coin before the machine will operate. Nothing happens when I push the button. Why don't Why don't you hit it? A little damage might make it more flexible. That's true. What the hell kind of logic is that? If being locked means it's working correctly, then if it's not working correctly, it won't be locked. N True? W nope. If we break it completely, then we're bones. Let's put on some Dixie Chicks. What an astute observation. This looks like some sort of control panel. There's something on the screen. Rectangular button turns stage lights on off. Circular button activates armor. Huh. There's a triangle in the middle of the circular button. I'm gonna push it. Whoa, what the hell? The suit of armor swung the weapon it was holding at the other suit's shield. There was an L key on it. Take it. This guy holding a shield with a glass on it. It is under some something under the glass. Yeah, hard to tell what it is from here though. And we can't get it as long as it's covering glass. All right, let's just keep hitting play until it breaks. This guy's holding something. Nice. Ah, a pool cue. Why was the suit of armor holding a pool cue? Perhaps it was not an ordinary cue. The butt end is a little, weir a little weird. It's got a hexagonal hole on the tip. Maybe there's a support that just screws in. I need a suit of armor pool cue. Okay, we took the weapon. Now let's kill K. This is spear. More specifically, it's a charging spear for use on horseback. Even more specifically, it is a lance. Even more specifically, it's made. You see how the tip is pointed? As you may have surmised, it, it was used primarily as a piercing weapon. Okay. A lance. Okay, now, now we can hit it and he'll break the shield. Yeah! Oh, the shield. The glass is broken. We can get that thing on the shield now, right? Yeah, let's grab it. An Allen wrench. An Allen wrench. You know what that is, what that is, right? It's like a screwdriver, kind of, and it uses special hexagonal. Yeah, I've used these a million times. They hurt my fingers after a while. All right, what do we get? It's part of the excuse to remove the Allen wrench. Yeah, I can't get the wrench back out though. Perhaps the wrench is part of it now. If it is, that makes things easier for us. How so? Well, look at it. Does it look like a tubular key? We can use this to open the lock. That's true. That's pretty true. You're meant to grip the lump. I know you're meant to grip the. What kind of 
an amateur dad. Do you know how much furniture I've built in my life? Of course I know to use the long part, but sometimes the furniture piece, like if you, you can't use the long part because the long part gets caught on the rest of the fucking furniture when you're trying to spin it. And it's like really tedious to always like move it back again afterwards. So sometimes you're gonna use the short end to, to, to get it properly threaded and then you switch over to the long part and it's fucking tedious as fuck to keep moving it back and forth. Of, of course I know that. What kind of dad do you think you're dealing with right now? A suit of armor. I don't think I need to mess with it anymore. Okay. What is this over here? Round indentation inside this frame. Perhaps something goes in it. Like a record? Huh? Why won't it open? There's something in there, but you can't take it out. It won't open. All right, let's smash it with the, with the spear. Okay. And that looks like it needs another record. Okay, so put two records in in order to get it. All right, so it was over here, right? All right, this tool I've got here should fix the keyhole, fit the keyhole here. Yeah, we'll get lots of coins now. Took a bit of work to make, but yes. But actually, it's just for getting the coin back that you put in. There's no coins in here. The tip does look remarkably similar. Also, to the thing on the back of your neck. Okay, here we go. It opens. Then let's take a look inside. There's fucking nothing. Okay, cool. You know, I was all excited about finally being rich after we found these here, but they don't look right. I agree. The markings are strange. I have a feeling they only work on this ride. That seems likely. In any event, we may as well take a few of them. All right. These are the coins we uh, borrowed from the ride. I don't know if they have any actual value, but they may be useful elsewhere in the room. They're actually made of neodymium. Oh, were you planning to put a coin in there? Yeah, I figured I'd put a coin in there, and then maybe we'll start up, right? You want to ride it, Kay? Hmm. Okay, I'll just drop in a coin, and... Yes! 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 He's very, like... Looks like a monk, right? Okay. Why the hell are you riding it? <laughs> That's a lie! Look at me go! <laughs> I, I can't watch this. There is no god. What do you mean? He's having fun. Hey, Sigma. Alice. Fight. Oh. He's waving at us now. Alice, what's going on? I'm scared. I'm not watching. This isn't happening. Everything is fine. Huh? What was that? It seems to have taken a picture. Hooray. Ah ha ha. What do you mean it took a picture? Ah, that was delightful. Now, where is that photograph? Sigma, you get on that thing fucking right now. Oh, there we are. Excellent. I give this to you as a memento of our time together, Sigma. I give this to you as a memento of our time together, Sigma. Uh-huh. I don't really. Just holding it makes me feel wrong. Now, now. That's hardly necessary. Z9D1. Well, well. That's a handsome fellow there, isn't it? I would have very much liked to give these out to the others, but it seems like I can't print any more. Terribly disappointing. Oh, wait. There's something written on the back. Z9D1. I wonder what that means. Sigma, get the fuck on this thing right now. All this is your. your... Stay, stay with me until I die. Ah, looking at your piece of felt, I see. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to fit into the rest of the pool table. And there. Okay. It looks as though that scrap fit in the hole perfectly. Okay, cool. All right, nice. Lamayo got him. Now, spray this table with luminol. Okay. Is that it? That's the only thing the luminol's for? Wow. Okay, now let's turn the light off. My math sense is tingling. A, B, C, D, E, F. The pool table seems like a natural place to use pool balls. No, it's too dark. Lou, don't know what will happen to- Ooh, what? Better turn the lights back on before I get my balls out. Alright, cool. Hmm, there are six letters on the table. Yeah, looks like they were written something that reacted to, with the luminol. They appear to be letters A through F. No pattern I can see, though. Okay, let's go back up here, and let's, uh... <laughs> Oh yeah, this this monstrosity. All right, A, 
B, C, D, E, F. Nice job on that D, D Joe. What's wrong with the D? It's fine. It's a D. What's wrong with my D? What the hell? All right, what am I supposed to do with these white balls? Maybe you need to drop them in the pockets of the pool table. Place each of the six balls into the correct pockets in the following order. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. Specific balls must go into specific pockets. For instance, ball A would need to go into pocket A and so forth. Drag each ball into the desired pocket and then release the ball to drop it. Clicking the yellow triangle will allow you to switch between the ball groups displayed, either 1 through 8 or 9 through 15. Alright, let's give it a try. Alright, well, I'm fucking confused. Alright, so let's, uh, let's fix this now. A, D, E, C, F, B. A, D, E, C, F, B. A, D, E, C, F, B. Okay. All right. A, D, E, A. I don't understand this at all. A. Now B. D F E D F E failed. All right. Did I fuck it up? Did I go here and then there? Sorry, my bad. A B C D E F Okay, it's still wrong. I don't get it. Darts. What did darts have to do with pool? Okay, so is it in this order? A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, D, E. That's kind of meh. I feel like this is the six and the and the nine are gonna be um, flipped over, and it's not gonna be right. So it'd be one. Is it go left or right? Probably left, right, right. One like this. One fourteen nine six eight. It's kind of confusing. One fourteen nine six eight. Six eight something. What's the next one? Two. No, that's not it either.
Okay, so we tried the positions of these corresponding to positions. Like, this seems to be the order that you put them in here, right? For sure. So whatever whatever these orders are, they go. the A goes here, B goes here, C goes there, D goes there. That seems to be pretty set. Maybe I got this upside down somehow. That's a possibility, but I don't think so. Um, and we tried one, two, three in order. That didn't work. We tried in the order that they appear on in the pile. That doesn't work. So how else can we get information from this over to there? None of them look like it. We have magenta e yellow orange blue green yellow magenta yellow orangey blue yellow eh, orangey blue okay that works hold on green green okay so is it the order from those as well or no so that would be um purple Purple, yellow, orange, blue, green, yellow. And then, so purple, the first purple, it would be the lowest one or it would be the first one? The okay, I don't understand. I don't understand. How am I supposed to determine which purple it is? I don't understand. Is it? <sighs> Is there a way I can narrow it down? Oh, okay, never mind. All right, all right, all right. Sorry. Um, one second. So it's um spots and stripes. So purple uh spot spot stripe spot spot. Stripe. Okay, so purple spot is purple spot is four. Yellow spot is one. Uh, orange stripe is thirteen. Blue spot is two. Uh, the G spot is six and also nine. Uh, and the yellow stripe is nine. Okay, uh, could be upside down though for, for, for lols, but we'll see. But let's double check. So purple, purple four is a spot, yep. Yellow spot is one. Orange stripe is 13. Um, blue spot is two, yep. The G spot is six and the yellow stripe is nine. Okay, so these two could be switched over and it could be nine and six instead, but um, let's see. All right, so I wanna put four here. Whoops. Four here. And then I want to put yellow um, uh, one in here. And then I want to put 13 in up here. Then I want to put two over here. And then I want to put six uh, down here. And then I want to put nine over here. Okay, cool. So they weren't upside down. All right. That wasn't a bad puzzle. Ah, that was easy. It looks like something came out of the ball retrieval slot. You see down here? What is this? Oh, it's one of those thing prizes you get in a in a plastic sphere. Some sort of container, huh? There's something inside. Why don't you take it out? Sounds good. I'll just hang on to this then. What the fuck are those? Are these chili peppers? Yes, I believe these are a variety known as the hawk's claw. Alice, please try some. I'm not eating that. I don't care what kind of claw it is. 
are you even looking at them? These are obviously dart tips. I don't know, I'm just not seeing it. They look like peppers to me. I agree, they also look like peppers. You know what soft darts are? They use plastic tips instead of metal ones. Oh man, we're not even trusted. We're trusted with major weapons, but not with real darts? Wow, this was all just to get the darts? Holy shit. Okay, now to put a coin in here. The button's lit up. I guess it's on my own now. Alright, so now we want... Uh, Z9, D1. Z9. I'm not ready to make nice. There's a gold record sitting in the jukebox. Looks like somebody's gone gold. I don't think it's actually gold. D1. Needs another coin. There's a gold record sitting in the jukebox. All right. Let's try uh, 2B. Nothing comes out when I push the buttons. A2. Uh, 9S. Um, QR. Nope. Huh? Do you hear something? Look! The light from the frame in the middle is green now. Look! Oh yeah, so it is. I'm guessing that means it might have unlocked. What's this thing? It's a box of darts in it, isn't it? Okay, open it. A case for darts. There are three things that look like darts. They don't have tips though. Just a shaft and fletching. It looks like there's some kind of picture inside the case. And you notice these markings on the lid? We can worry about it later. Right now I think we should focus on making complete darts. Alright. I have made complete darts. Excellent, you've completed the darts. Well, now that we have darts, there's only two things we can do with them. Either we throw them at a dartboard or we throw them in a picture of a boss we don't like. Haha, <laughs> alright, let's find your picture. And we'll throw it at that. Well, I haven't had any pictures of undesirable bosses or indeed bosses of any kind. Then also we can narrow things down a bit. Alright, what the hell is this? Not for holding dusters under marks. Oh, uh, I wanted to move it. You're right. Look here. Score 91, red, blue, green. It's got three images of darts and, tar and targets. One's red, one's blue, and one's green. It says score 91. I wonder what it means. Okay, so we need to score 91. Wait, hold on. What about this up here? Large scoreboard. Can I play this again? No. All right, so the, the secret puzzle the golden file is going to be with darts all right so before we go in let's look at this 91 so the inside one is a triple the 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 middle ring is a double and the outside one is a single so And we have to get it with a red and uh, I'm gonna guess these are color coded to what was red, green, blue, whatever. So it's it, we're gonna have to have one in each um, uh, circle somewhere in order to get it. Uh, so how do we how do we get three darts with these numbers to multiply up to to add up to 91? Um, That's 51, and then can we just get... <sighs> 40 from somewhere else? This is a nine, right? All right, let's go see what it looks like. Dartboard with some darts, we can get a, get a game going. Whoops. Get a score of 91 with three darts. Keep in mind, however, the score of each area must have a specific relationship to the other scores. 
Toss the dart into each area to reach the correct point value. Throw To throw a dart in a particular area, drag and then release the dart in the area where you'd like it to land. Okay, so this is... Okay, it shows us it's 51. And then let's do um, double, double seven. Now we got 65. So now we need 26. How do we get 26 with a, with a single? We can't. All right, so let's just go over here. 82. Does that mean a different area too? Like, can we can we put them all in the 17? Would that would that let us? Okay, it does let us then. Okay, so um, it has to be in a different. Oh, they're different. They're not all the same colors either. Oh shit. For some reason, I thought they would be uniform all across it. Okay. Oh, okay, so is there a solution there actually? Now I want a, or, uh, I want a red. For how much? 20, 26, right? No. That's just a 13. Let's go triple in the middle. Can I put it in the middle? Yeah! Yay! We, what do you mean failed? That's the highest score you can get. What do you mean? That's the highest score you can get. Okay, does the order matter of, of them as well? Hold on. Can I see the items, please? Okay, so red, blue, green. Does that mean the red has to be the smallest as well? The red has to be the smallest amount and the green has to be the largest even? Red, green, blue, this is a score 91. So red, blue, green. Red, blue, green, 91. So we have to go, first is, is here. And then number two is up here. And then number three is up here. So red, blue, green. I'm assuming it has to be in that order, but maybe it doesn't have to be. Red, red, blue, green to get to 91. All right, red, red, blue, green. Does it, does it actually have to be um, ascending numbers too? Cause if that's the case, then um, the red one would probably have to be on the outside somewhere. So it'd have to be like here, and then blue would have to be in the middle somewhere, um, like here, and then green would have to be in the middle, like that. Eighty. Oh, pretty close actually. All right, so we we're only eleven off. How do we get? How do we get eleven more out of this? Is that even possible to do that? Actually, probably not. Or maybe it meant the surface area of, of the thyme, of the thing here, right? The surface area. Um, I don't see a way to do it actually that way with it being um, with a, with smallest numbers because it's a smaller target. So maybe not. Maybe it is the other way. Yeah. 
Okay, any red whatsoever. That gets us 18. And then... Double blue... Sorry, no. That gives us 18. And that gives us that. And that's not going to do it. Now we need a good green to get us up there. There's nothing there that can get us there. This is wrong. Can I restart? Pretty close. Need to be a little, little higher. And now a really good... A really good triple green. Oh, two off. Oh man, two off, two off. There's no red here, shit. Well, I saw it here, right? No, that's wrong, shit. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I can get to 23, right? There's no way I can get to 23. Especially with a the blue. There's no way. Alright, let's try this one. 21. And now I want a blue. Let's try eight this time. 37, now I want a really good green. 17 again. Nope, three off. 17 seems right actually. Is that the right colors? Does it matter? Let's try it. Good work. Looks like you got it. Well done, Sigma. Look, the screen has changed. Moon, star, sun. This is the password? Okay, well done. This must be the safe. You did it. Alright, moon, star, sun. Moon, star, sun. All right, was, what do I do for the golden file then? <sighs> okay, so doing, doing it with the colors is for the, is for the golden file and just doing it with anything is, is for the normal one. Okay, a uh, piece of cake. All right. All right, that makes sense. All right, so how do I get how do I get 91 with any of these? This should be much easier, um, but I'm bad at this for whatever reason. Uh, that gets me 33, and then um, double 20 gets me up to 73, 
And then I would just need... Eighteen? Eighteen would be double nine. So, triple, double, and then double nine. Okay, cool. So that's it. Shit, what's, what's the normal one then? I... Th Do I have to just score 120? I know how to do that. I just put them all in the 21s. Lamayo got him. No. I feel like anything to do with this this number, right, is that I I already did it this way, right? So I already did it harder than it wants me to do. And I already got 91 through the normal one. So what 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 does it I really don't understand what it wants for me. I just, I just straight up don't know. Does it does it just want numbers going up? It's showing the numbers here. How did I do this over here? I went, I started. What did I do for the, for the solution last time? It was like here and here and like over here or something, right? No, it wasn't that. These are definitely together, right? So I went here and these together, right? I had 42. So what what did I do for the other one? I can't remember. I legitimately just can't even remember. I needed 24 by the end, and I'm pretty sure I'll put one in the 18. How did I get 49? Or was it 39? No, it was 49. How did I get 40? What, did I not put it here? Am I just completely crazy? Was it not here at all? Was it somewhere else? I ended with a green, and the green was 24, right? So the green was 24. So before I got there, um, I had 67, right? 
91 minus 24 equals 67, right? I had 67. So how did I get 67 from a, from a red and a blue? And I'll put them in here right now to remember what I did. So I had 67. I can't remember what I did. I see, I remember there was another one in, in, in the middle somewhere and it couldn't have been another green. So it was a blue or a red, was it the 13? Sixty-three. So now I need twenty-eight from somewhere, right? Where did I get twenty-eight from? Can I even get twenty-eight? Maybe it wasn't here. Maybe it was something something else. No, this wasn't it. It's not figuring it out now. It's figuring out what I did last time, which is one specific thing. So it's kind of frustrating. 67. It was like there was one over here, wasn't there? This is the green, so it's no more green. Was it this one? And then I know I put it here. So now I have 58. So now I need... Uh, 33? Was that triple 11? Right. Okay, that's that's it. So triple 11, right? So it would be red 34. Right? 34. And this was triple 33. Okay, blue 33. Okay, so the numbers are getting smaller. What if I just do it backwards and the numbers are getting, are getting, no, that's still, that doesn't count. Then it wouldn't be in the same color order. But let's just do it just to be, let's just do it just to see what happens. Twenty-four. Twenty-four red, sorry. Here, here, and then end with there. So green, here, right, and then here. No, it's blue now. Okay. Here, here, and then here. Okay, so that isn't it. So I I don't know what it wants for me. Um, does it want it like different numbers? And this time they get is the area the size of the of the thing that, that we throw it in? Like Does it want the green one to be the big one now instead of the order that it comes in? It still needs to be the same colors. That seems to be about right. I'm gonna guess probably.
maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it just needs to be the colors in order. And specifically having it to be this arrangement of, um, of descending numbers is just for the golden file. And the other time it just needs to be the numbers instead. The, sorry, the colors instead. Maybe it doesn't have to be backwards or anything else like that. Maybe it just has to be the colors. And we just have to just not have it. It still has to be red, blue, green, but it doesn't have to be in that kind of, uh, that kind of arrangement. So that would be red, blue, green here. Does that work? So that's red, blue, green, right? Let's try that. Red, blue, green. Okay. No, still not. So it, it doesn't, I don't know what it wants then. Red, blue, green. That was it. So it's not, it has to be, it has to be smallest to biggest this time, specifically. If we get 91 going from biggest to smallest, then we get the golden file. If we get 91 with any uh, amount on the board, does it, irrelevant of colors, then we um, then uh, it doesn't give it to us. If we get red, blue, green with um, uh, the numbers not ascending or descending, just, just chaotic up and down between, right? Let, let me just double check that again. So 22, and then it went down. And then went back up again, right? That okay, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so um, but if we do it the other way, like this, then it doesn't give us it either. So it has to be it has to be red, blue, green. It has to be red, blue, green, but in the other order instead. Okay. So I just need to figure that out. Alright, so it needs to be something like this, but in reverse, but with those colors. Alright, so give me a second. seems likely that this is still going to be the last one. So if I do this, what do I get? I need 22. Double eleven, but that's not that's that's still bigger than than that. It would have to yeah, have to get bigger. That doesn't work. No, for the blue one's gonna have to be a very large number in order to, um, in order to like the largest number twenty. It would have to be larger than the other two put together to make it green to make up the difference, right? So that's not gonna work if it, if it is that, right? So now it has to be um, uh, twenty again. Put in more one. So maybe it's not that one. Maybe it has to be a, a, a more condensed number than that. But green still has to be the largest number on here. So if green is the largest number... Twenty-four... Twenty-seven... Twenty-six... So it could be that one. 
that's the largest number we can get apart from, oh, well that one, we can get 40. Maybe it's 40 then instead of that one. That seems more about right. 40, so now we just need to make 51. Out of a red and a blue. What does double 17 get us? 34. Nah, red has to go first. That's not right. 22. So now we something between 40 and 22. That gives us... Uh, 29? That's not it either. Maybe this isn't it. Well, when all else fails. When all else fails. Double blue. Close. Twenty-seven has to be this one again. Getting getting warmer. We gotta start here, man. Right? We gotta start here. How could we not not start here? It has to be this one, right? We gotta start here. It's gotta be 13. You gotta be my boy 13. Gotta be. And then we just slam over here. And now we need... The green! No. Oh no, we're too high. We're too high. All right, we're too high. How do we get to 31 with a blue? I don't know what to do, chat. I'm sorry. I'll get through it though. Give me a second. If we don't use that one, we can have them in a tighter band. Sixteen. Get a twenty over there. Now we have thirty-eight. I think we've done this one before. Now we need uh, fifty-three. No, that's not it. That's 51, right?
What if I should have just written them down on the on the panels to see what they all add up to, and then I could just been like bum bum bum, just do a simple three math thing with with all the with all the red. Still might be time to do that. Like this might not even be the answer. I mean, I can't see how 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 it could possibly be anything else other than that, but. Okay, if we start here, that's 34. And if we go here, it's 85. So there's no way that that could be it because the blue has to be in between these two. So it can't be that. So that one's ruled out. So if we go here and here, all right, now we need 64. That would go up to 17, 27. 27 is between those two. But I don't think we can get to 27 with anything on the board. So it's not that. No. Okay, so if we do this and this, we need to get to 22 with a blue, right? Yeah, 22 with a blue. That does fit, but where do we get 22 with a blue? That doesn't work either. 16. No, that's not it either, I don't think. So we go here and here. Now we need a, now we're too high, that doesn't work. Now we need a 31 with a blue. That fits, but. No, that's not it either. Now we need a, no, that doesn't fit. It's not good enough. Yeah, that's a 19. It doesn't fit between the, the, the red and the green. And we tried that one already, right? So this this is not it. It's not this green one. It can't be. So it's another, another green one that's fairly high at the end. Um, so that means, what is this one again? This one is 51. All right, that's, that's pretty huge. All right, so what are the other green ones? 24 and... Um, 27 okay so anything anything lower than 227s would be like that's that's not even enough to get us to 91 right so it can't be that it can't be that and that's even lower that's even worse so it can't be that still a little too low all right so it has to be this one then it has to be 40. If we've ruled that out and there's nothing with another red on here that can add up to it, then that has to be the last one. The last one has to be 40. So 40 is the last one, right? Has to be, has to be 40. That's what my conclusion is right now, 40. Okay, so what is what is a good red one so we can find the one in the middle? So that would be, now we need a uh, 737. How do we get 37? I don't think we can get 37. So it's not that. Okay, now we need uh, 29. That is below it. 29 with a blue. So it's that one? That's 39. Shit, of course it is. Of course it's 39. Of course it's 39. Why wouldn't it be 39? Okay, hold on, let's try it again. I don't think we can get 29 with a blue. No. So it's not that. Eighteen. Now we need thirty-three. Right? We can get thirty-three with this one here, right? So is that it? Is it bum, bum, bum? Red, blue, green? Hooray! You tried a different solution this time, I see. Yeah, I did, it looks like it worked out. See the screen changed. This one's different, a new password. 
I didn't write the password down. Star, star, sun, star, star, sun. Here? That was a pretty good puzzle. I like that puzzle. That was pretty good. All right, it opens. Now should we collect our spoils first? A map, it says floor B. The one I found in the lounge said floor A. Then that must mean floor A is on the top floor. We rode the elevator down to get to this floor after all. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, moving on. Next we got, uh... They have an image of the moon on them. That must mean these are what the announcer was talking about. The moon keys. We got two of them, just like the sun keys. Alright, Kay, you take one. Why? You're solo. Alice will take the other one. Yes, of course. Thank you. And the last prize. Let's see here. A key. This must be for the exit. Now we can leave. Waiting for. By the way, the way you know the red is smaller when you go up is by looking inside the red circles. Again. Yeah, that's what that's what I said when I looked at it, didn't I? I said it was either that or it was um uh the so area size of the uh of the things on the dartboard. Yeah. But I wasn't sure, so I was trying to uh, to do different results, and I ended up getting the golden file before before the other one. Waiting for them. And then I was a little confused. I didn't know what it wanted from me, but that, but we got there. I probably tunneled on something in the uh, in the puzzle to be honest, and that's why it took me a while. I should have been able to eliminate which one it had to be uh, earlier, or maybe I'm just really bad at visualizing the numbers and the addition problems by looking at it all. But yeah, whatever. It was a pretty good puzzle, I think. This is locked for the exit. This is locked right now. Time to kiss this weird ass room goodbye. Actually, I had a rather nice time. I did too, actually. Whatever. I'd rather forget any of this ever happened. Three, two, one. Interesting. What is this place? A warehouse. Hey, look over there. Your inability to multiply by two and three doomed you. Your inability to talk in my chat from this point forward has, has doomed you. Fucking banned. Fucking banned. Banned. Shall we have a look then? Let's go have a look. They're not actually banned, I'm kidding. I fake typed. It was a fiction. Are these chromatic doors too? They're all the same though. Well, this one's locked. This one won't open either. No luck here. It looks like they have the same locking mechanism as the other chromatic doors. So these will be the next next doors to open. The only person I have ever banned in chat, I think has been this insufferable fucking weeb during the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 stream. I don't know what the fuck that guy's problem was. That that guy, oh my god, that guy. That guy was just, just so insufferable about the combat and like, oh, this and that. And then after it was banned, came back on another account and started saying the same shit. Like, oh no, it's not me. Like that, that guy, holy shit, that guy. I, I don't remember his name. That guy was bad. We might have unbanned him now, actually, though, because I think the bands get, like, cycled out eventually. But, yeah, so these will work next, next doors to open. We should go with the right. others now. All right. Okay, uh, anyone need a break? I don't really need a break, but if people want a break, we can do a five-minute break. What? No, fuck off, Twitch. Okay, all right, there we go. Hmm, now I kind of feel like I need to pee. Uh, 
Yeah, let me go pee. Uh, I'd replay the fan art montage, but it's longer than the break would be. So uh, that seems like a poor form to have to cut that off in the middle. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be a very polite. Um, excuse me. So I'll be back in about five minutes.
I saw that mouse movement from before I sat down. All right, let's le legitimately dog hitting the, the mouse then. Trying to communicate. Outside turn to go, but K stayed put. Is something wrong? No. I just feel as if I've seen this warehouse before. Wait, you've been here before? I don't know. Perhaps I haven't been here. Only somewhere very similar. You mean the floor A warehouse? Perhaps. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What is Dio's problem, man? What the hell? Someone else must have opened one of the AB gates. What is this hip to, to waist ratio? Fucking hell, Lotus. Before we got back? I imagine they don't care what happens to the rest of us. That would be the most logical explanation. In any event, we should return quickly. Yeah, let's get going, guys. Body shaming? No, I'm doing even worse. I'm art shaming. So, no new information at all from that room? Nothing? No story time? Nothing? I thought that the, uh, I thought the armor was going to be more involved in there too. So nothing new apart from Kay has like a childlike personality sometimes. He likes to have fun, but that could have just been a joke even actually. Where's Temioji's team? Are they not back yet? Nope. We were the first. Then wait a little longer before you open the AB gate. Shut up, Alice. It wasn't us. I tried to stop him, but... Oh, come on, it's not like when we open the door really affects the matches, right? It's cool. No, it's not cool. Your team returned quite early, Dio. Did your investigation go smoothly? I guess. Which room did you guys go to? Treatment center. Treatment center? <laughs> How is that different from the infirmary? Uh, there were these pod things. Look, just go see for yourself, all right? I don't feel like explaining it. You took something from the treatment center, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? You did. I saw it too. After we opened the safe, you grabbed something out of it and put it in your pocket. And you didn't say to him right then and there, whoa, what the hell are you doing? You guys have the same color, color eyes. Show us what you took. Uh. Get away from me! Clover shoved her hand in Dio's pocket and began to dig around. It should be in this one. Let go! Before Dio could push her away, Clover found what she was looking for. I knew it! A gun! An injection gun. The label on the vial says Neostigmine. <laughs> What's the stuff for? Remember when she got Neostigmine from Unclean? Remember that? That was a, um... That was fun. I don't know, but... I feel like I've heard that name before somewhere. Go have a shower, you're unclean. Give it back. I found it, so it's mine. Hey! With a desperate lunge, Dio managed to grab the gun back from Clover, but before she had a chance to protest... <sighs> have any of you seen Quark? Anyone? Please! <laughs> Quark? Did something we happen found to him? pantry on the other side of the red door, but after we left, he just disappeared. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. <laughs> you think he's lost? Don't you think you're being a little optimistic there? What? Come on, that little jerk's probably dead by now. 
We've already found one corpse, right? What the hell is wrong with you? How could you? Why would you say such a horrible thing? Oh man, Dio's just going mask off this round. Holy shit. Whoa, simmer down there. Just saying it's a possibility. Okay, never mind. He's he's alright. He's fine. <laughs> well, even if it is, we should all be looking for yes. him. As we began to file out, I saw Alice staring intently into the corner of the warehouse. It seemed strange, but but looking for Quark was my priority. I turned and headed toward the magenta door. Quark, are you in here? Does Dio always... This is the one where we found the dead body on, right? Because it just said that. We found the dead body of the old lady. And he still opened the door early. Even though it was it was like, it was was like Luna's um, door that we found... Room that the body was in before it was moved, right? Because the strong implication from, from this yesterday was that... If Dio is the one that's not supposed to be here, and there were still supposed to be nine players, that that Dio is the one that took the old lady's place. But and that and I was gonna say maybe that's why he rushes back to open the door because it's always the far end door that he opens first, so that no one else can see it. But that's dumb. No one smells blood. No one goes over and looks into his room or anything like that. And also he did it even though the room has already been moved this time. Um, but then I what I don't understand is then why. Why is the game still like, oh, nine people, okay, great. You know, I don't, I don't get that. And also, why would he continue to open the door early, as early as he can? Maybe it's, it's, it's got a, it's for getting the voting done and he can vote betray because someone else defaults to ally and he gets more points or... And, and on, the, on the paths where the room isn't moved, he just also stops anyone from looking in. But that, that'd be dumb. Like, who's gonna... Like, he should go in and close the door then, right? And someone must have gone in with him at some point when he was partnered with it. Nah, that doesn't make sense. But then why does the only room move sometimes? And how is he a contestant when he's not supposed to be here? Okay, let's just keep going. Guess not. Damn. This door stays open for 45 minutes. Joe, no, it doesn't. You can go in and hit the button and close it. If you go in and press start, the button closes early and you're stuck in there for a while. He never does it. Yeah, that's what I just said. Why doesn't he go in and close the door then? <laughs> Temioji's team took the red door. They've probably already searched that area pretty thoroughly then. Maybe try blue door. Can we skip this now? Yeah, we can. Cool. Quark, where are you? He's not here either. Where the hell did he go? Ah, oh, Sigma. Any luck? Nothing. I can't find him anywhere. I see. What about you? Never mind. If you found him, you've said something already. Indeed. I went to the treatment center, as well as the Floor B warehouse, but he was not there. <laughs> Oh well, let's head back to the floor A warehouse. Good idea. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Well, did you find him? Sorry, I couldn't find him anywhere. Where does he go on the paths where we can't find him? I I see. Are the three of you the only others to have returned? Is he already in the treatment beds or in the treatment pod or whatever? Like, hmm. Yeah, we're it. I'm guessing you guys didn't have yeah. any luck either. No yeah. clues or anything. I don't get it. 
With this many people looking, it seems like we'd be able to find him pretty fast. Quark is only a child. It's possible he's become trapped in a small, enclosed space. <laughs> well, wouldn't we be able to at least hear him calling for help? Yeah, you're right. Quark. Like, you eventually find him, right? So, he's got to be somewhere. Tamioji's shoulders slumped. He looked old, much older than he had when we'd met. I could see tears glistening in the corners of his eyes. Why are you old? For just a moment, I saw it. In them all his pain, fear, and despair, and felt like someone had put a, a heart in a vase. Then Dio appeared, and the mood suddenly changed. I found Quark, motherfuckers. Hey, you guys, come here. What are you standing around Dio. for? They're in the crew quarters. Just what? come on. Okay, so Luna and Alice are dead again. Okay, so it's definitely not Clover that's killing Luna. Although it seems to me that it's it's Luna that's killing Luna and it's Alice that's killing Alice. Um Well, Alice is definitely killing Alice. Lu someone could be killing Luna, but we thought it was Clover before. It was either it's either Luna, Clover, K, or Dio. Um, Dio's really sus. Uh, it could be K, but I don't think so. I don't get that vibe from K at all. But maybe he's faking. Uh, it would be my my top choices right now would be Dio or um, or Luna. Luna's killing herself. Because uh, the only reason it was Clover is because Clover was angry at at, um, at Luna for killing for potentially killing Alice uh, in in the in the other path, right? So. Yeah. If I had to guess right now, I would say Luna killed herself. But it could also be that, hey, Dio says, hey, come look, I found a body. And then, you know, he ambushes her in here at the same time. But, mm hmm. How? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. There was a roaring in my ears, breathing, heartbeat, but my footsteps sounded muffled as if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Looking down, it was clear why. Something has been driven her chest so far. I was only hit. Okay, can we skip this? No. Hilt was visible. Okay, it's the knife this time, not the scalpel. Covered in blood, no one can survive that. I forced myself to swallow this stinging lump in my throat and turn toward Luna, turn into a lead ball. Unlike Alice, the first glance, she seemed unharmed. As I reached for her neck to check for a pulse, however, I saw a red mark near her jawline. Nearby on the floor sat an injection gun. I already knew what, I, what I'd find, but pressed my fingers through her neck and waited. Nothing. They're, they're my dead. God. What on earth happened here? That bastard killed them. Whoever it was that killed the old lady in the AB room. So... You? <laughs> You're saying this mystery person killed Luna and Alice? Maybe only one of them was supposed to be killed, but the murderer had to kill the other to keep them quiet. Or perhaps they killed one another. Luna stabbed Alice in the chest, after which Alice attacked her with the injection gun. It seems really likely to me that, that Alice is killing herself, but... This is also the same room where the bombs get... Is there ever... Are there ever bombs and dead Alice? Is Dio coming in here to plant the bomb and then Alice finds him and then he kills her? Because it seems overwhelmingly likely that Dio is the one that's planting the bombs because he has, he has the, the defusal code, whatever. But not necessarily, but... I don't know for sure, but that's that would be something that could happen. And then Luna found it. Mm, that's different. Okay, let's that's keep going. That's pretty far fetched. Look, look at Alice's clothes. 
No sign of a struggle. Yeah, it seems like she she would have killed herself. I don't think they fought. Then were they killed somewhere else and then brought here? No. If that were the case, there would be much less blood. I guess that's true. Whatever the case, we have too few clues to figure it out right now. We'd all separated to look for Quark. Good thing we're in the clue quarters. Any one of us could have done it. You mean the killer's one of us? Do you us? think there's someone else in here? Well, yeah, there was. Do you think that Zero Senior killed these two, as well as the old woman? No. Hmm. Oh, give me a break. How can you just sit around here talking? No point in making a fuss. Are you fucking kidding me? One of us is a killer. I can't think of a better reason to make a fuss. You do realize you're the most likely suspect, don't you? Excuse me? You wait until the rest of us have gathered in the warehouse. And you kill Alice and Luna. You pretended to be the first to find them and... Are you saying I did this? Getting some big jumpy vibes from Fi right now. I'm just saying it's a possibility. You don't need to get so worked up about it. Ten minutes remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, if no vote is re any non vote. So if you don't vote, your choice is set to ally. I guess that means Luna's vote will be ally for this round. Yes, it does. Perhaps that outcome is what the killer was after. They killed Alice and Luna for that? Who would Luna's opponent be? Quark and myself. One person is missing and the others bought the farm. I'd say this old fart's the most suspicious one here. You want to say that to my face? Yeah. You killed her so you could get a few more points in the A-B game. Are you an idiot? How do you explain Alice? She's playing against K, not me! Uh, not quite. Even without his partner, Alice, Sigma will still be able to cast a vote as he wishes. Then maybe that's why Luna died. Oh, it was Sigma that killed her, so he didn't have to be alone with her in the AB room. For sure. I would do it. Yep. Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went wrong and they... True. I suppose that is a possibility. It's true. It's pretty true. But we are engaging in pure speculation here. There is little to no evidence to support any of this. It's pretty true. Well, we should probably head back to the warehouse. We should take their bracelets with us, then. Huh? Do Without they really matter? Bracelets, some of us would be unable to open the secondary chromatic doors. You're pretty calm, pal. Too calm. You did it, didn't you? A sterling deduction. I await your further insight. He wears a mask, therefore he is guilty, perhaps? Ooh, back on the, the K is defending himself perfectly at every turn phase. What did you just say? Are you fucking with me? Yes. Knock it off. Is there really any point to arguing about this? Agreed. We aren't getting any younger here. I apologize. We should return to the warehouse. Alice. Smile. Come on, Clover, no. we gotta go. I'm not going anywhere. I can't just leave her here. Okay, drag her with you then. Clover. If you don't vote, Dio might get out. Huh? He's got six uh. BP right now. If you don't vote, you will automatically ally. And I bet my left arm he'll pick Betray. That'd be three points, which will put him at nine. Once he's got that, there's nothing stopping him from opening the number nine door. I'll try and pick Ally, of course. But Dio's not an idiot. Wait, Dio did pick Ally when he was in there with Quark that one time. How did the kid convince him to do that? If Dio is master bomb-laying clone secret agent, what? He voted Betray against Hemioji, Betray against literally everyone else, ally against Luna when tied with Quark. Has he ever been with Quark for someone else that wasn't Temioji or or Luna? Al Alice! He voted Betray against Alice, and it's like, get fucked, Alice! So, he likes Luna? He'll try and stop me or get in my way somehow. But then he just killed her? Maybe? Dio will have nine points? What are you gonna do, Clover? If you stay here, you might be letting Alice's killer get away. Fine. I'll do it. 
There's no way I'm going to let him get nine points. Sorry, I'm dumb. Quark is always the one that convinces Dio what to vote because he's the mastermind behind everything. So it's Quark that likes Luna. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Sorry. Good. Let's go. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Took a deep breath and locked the AB room. No matter how hard I looked for answers, all I found were more questions. Who had killed Alice and Luna? Where was Quark? I wasn't in any kind of mood to play along with Zero's ridiculous games, but at this point, I really didn't have a choice. I, ha I heaved a silent sigh and started toward the entrance to the, my AB room. Sigma, what would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate, of course. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You have five BP. If we both ally, then you will gain two points, leaving you with seven in total. Should you also cooperate mutually in the following round, you would gain another two points, bringing you to nine. Conversely, if you were to choose to betray me during this round, you would gain three points for a total of eight. In other words, you will be unable to reach nine BP until the round following this one. That being the case, choosing ally is the most logical choice. Interesting. True, but how many points do you have? Me? As I recall, you and Clover chose Betray in the first AB game. That means you should have six BP right now. If you choose Betray, if you betray me and get another three, you could get all the way to nine point nine this round. Ah, yes, that is true. However, interesting. Escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. But you picked Betray in the first round, didn't you? That was in the interest of my own safety, as I only had three points at the time. The prospect of losing two of them was very unsettling. Now that I have 6 BP, I have some room for error. Okay, I feel like I'm being bamboozled right now. Why well, wouldn't you want to get out of here as soon as you possibly could? Of course I would like to, but attempting to do so would be unwise. Why is that? Isn't it obvious? Isn't that obvious? If I escape on my own, everyone else will be trapped here forever. Also, we couldn't stop you after you pulled the lever. We'd all be like hanging onto you like barnacles. You could drag us all out. Huh? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten what Zero told us? The number nine door only opens once! Once that happens, it's all over! It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you can get stuck. I trust you remember now? <laughs> so if someone opens it, it escapes. Did you not realize? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. He didn't know. Wait, what? Hey, don't tell me you're planning to leave us all in the lurch and take off by yourself. I would never do that. Consider the following. If I did manage to get to nine points before anyone else, do you think the rest of our companions would allow me to leave? We couldn't stop you, my dude. You're an absolute unit. Especially knowing that if they did, they would remain here for the rest of their lives. You're also not us, so yeah, you would get out of here. We're the only ones that aren't allowed to go out. Well, of course we'd st no, of course we'd stop you. See? you. Working toward leaving as a group is the most logical choice for me. Okay, I feel totally lied to right now, but whatever, I'm committed to ally. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Our time is nearly up. I trust you will choose wisely. <laughs> yeah, of course, you too. Y you too. Thirty seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Okay, I made a compelling argument, but I still have to make my choice. Would he really choose Ally? If I chose Ally and he chose Betray, he'd have nine points and I have two. Still, even if he did have nine points, he might not try and escape right away. The question was, how much could I trust him? How much trust could I give a man whose face I'd never seen? Ten seconds remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. The dropping the robe move was too strong. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. I think that he did vote betray. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Okay. What the hell, Kay? What the hell? Wow. 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 All right, that just made Kay a lot more interesting. All right. Hmm. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see. I'm sorry. I had to deceive you. I need to leave. What? So you did indeed choose ally. You tricked me. I apologize. Sigma! You fucking idiot! Now Kay's got nine points thanks to your stupid ass. But he's not going to just leave us. He told me he wouldn't right after he told me that he was going to vote ally. I apologize for taking further advantage of your trust, but I will be leaving. What? What? Before we could react, Kay slipped past us with speed and agility that belied his size. In the blink of an eye, he was standing in front of the number nine door. Kay! God damn it! Wait, you son of a bitch! He didn't give any sign that he'd heard Dio, just grabbed the lever and pulled it down. All right, and then we're all gonna stop him, right? We're all gonna stop him, right? Because when we really want to stop someone from getting through the door, we can stop someone. So we're all gonna stop him, right? Oh no! Smile. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Why did you do it? I trusted you, Kay. The answer is obvious. Two, excuse me, three people have already been murdered. If I remain, I place myself in greater danger. A simple decision, really. I'm sure you would have done. I God damn it, Kay. I do intend to contact the police as soon as I have escaped. Now then. Kay, wait. He didn't even turn around. What? He just he just walked backwards through the door? Uh, we didn't even try. We didn't even try. Okay. Didn't just not even trying. Okay, cool. Don't we still have the spear from the rec room? The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, escape, please. <sighs> He's gone. Damn it! This is all your fault, Sigma! There's no point to blaming him now. Yeah. Smile. It's not like we can open that door again. Ah, damn it! No, this isn't right. This can't be right. We stood there in silence, staring at the door. The only exit to the outside world, now closed forever. Our only chance of escape now was to hope Kay would keep his word and contact the police. Alice, Luna, the old woman, who had killed them, and where had Quark gone? There were questions we still hadn't answered, but we would have plenty of time now, perhaps we still would. Now we're all dead from Radical Six in about 30 minutes. Oh. 
Okay, so does every single person have a they leave by themselves ending except for us because they stop us? Just fantastic. I can't see Luna leaving by herself. Temioji leaves with Quark. Quark? Oh, this goes on for a while. Oh. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Alice hasn't left. Quark leaves with Temioji. Alice and Luna, those are the only two that haven't walked out of the door by themselves, right? Quark obviously can't. But Alice is usually dead by now, so maybe that doesn't matter. Maybe Alice can't be. Hmm. Okay, let's go back up here. Fi didn't Fi leaves with um with Dio. And also by herself, but you stop her at one point. 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Get fucked, K. All right, is he gonna vote ally this time? Get fucked. I hope Results he doesn't. from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the result. Biggest betray round ever. Yay! And then we're gonna look at each other and go, eh? Eh, I knew you were, you son of a bitch. And Kizzy be like, oh, I know, you son of a bitch. I, I am exchanging in this camaraderie right now. Yes, we both tried to, to trick each other into voting, into voting ally for our mutual benefit. Uh-huh, okay. I guess we will call this even. All right. Here we go. <laughs> so, you picked Betray. Leading to a draw, it would seem. You don't feel bad about it or anything? I could ask the same of you. No, because I knew you were the one that came over all sultry trying to, with your honeyed words. I didn't suggest it. You're the guilty party here, not me. Okay, no, that's not fair at all, Sigma. No, what the fuck? I had thought that you would choose ally. If I had, then you'd have 9 BP right now, wouldn't you? Nice try, but I'm not gonna let you get out of here that easily. As I told you before, even if I were to reach 9 VP, I would not necessarily leave immediately. So you're saying that you wouldn't have left? I'm not saying that. I might choose to wait until everyone else had also reached 9 VP. Yeah, well, I considered that. It didn't seem likely. You do not trust me. You voted betray! Well... You need to apologize. Trust must be earned in a game like this. It says the guy who told me to trust him so he could betray me. <laughs> Indeed. Clearly, I don't deserve to be trusted. He sounded familiar there. The honesty is refreshing, but that's not really the brightest, brightest move. Alright. So you chose Betray too, huh? Of course. You just picked Ally out of 9 BP right now. Mm-hmm. Why on earth would I have done that? We're not on Earth. There's no way Clover would have chosen Ally when you had a chance to betray her and get to 9 BP. Are you an idiot or something? Bunch of smart asses. So you chose Betray? Of course. Luna... Luna's bracelet is already off. No risk of a penalty for her now. That brings Quark's BP up to nine. Are you worried that he might try and get out? Well, if he were to do so, the rest of us would be trapped here. Hmm. Bet you're all pretty happy he isn't here right now, aren't you? Yeah, he's annoying. Whoa, whoa, nobody's saying that. Nobody, nobody's saying that. No, no one's saying that, no. Yeah, maybe you aren't saying it, but I know what you're thinking.
The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on use of the Ambidex game. As many times as we want, huh? Then that means we can play the AB game over and over using these star keys, right? So it would seem. All right, well, where do we find them? Beyond the next set of chromatic doors. Oh, you found them already? Yeah, that's right, I forgot to tell you guys. Take a look at the map. All right, so we didn't search everywhere for Quark then. There are three white doors in the Floor B warehouse. White doors, huh? Maybe that's where Quark went. The warehouse on Floor B, you said? Yeah, but you're not going to be able to get through them until they're open. Blue Solo. We just got more than 80 minutes until that happens. Damn. All right, we're going to be with Kay and Dio. We will need to form groups of colors that can make white. Time we had a look at all our colors then. Yeah, it looks like they've been shuffled around again. Looks like I'm a Blue Solo Cup. I'm a magenta. Pear. As am I. Mm. You and me, huh? Better than Dio, I guess. You say something. What color are you? I'm a green solo. Oh. What's with the sigh? Forget about it. What about you two? Cyan, pear. I'm a cyan pear, too. Cyan. Alice and Luna's bracelets have changed as well. Both of them are yellow pears. Then what color is Quark? He's a red solo. In order to open the white doors, you'd normally need, say, red, blue, and green. But solos can't group together, right? That's why the pairs are magenta, yellow, and cyan. Magenta is a mix of red and blue. Yellow is a mix of red and green. Cyan is a mix of blue and green. So if you combine magenta with green, you get white. And so on. I see. Okay, then. We just need to get to the Floor B warehouse when the doors open, right? I'll be taking off, then. Time to head up on the dusty trail. Where do you think Anywhere you're going? that isn't here. Hanging out with a murderer? Doesn't sound like a good time to me. You gonna go plant some bombs that you keep in your hat? The guy who insists on splitting up is usually the first to bite it. What? Well, then again, loners often turn out to be killers. Just what are you getting at, old man? You think I kill him? Well, maybe, maybe not. But you're pretty damn suspicious. You're trying to start something, you wrinkled old piece of... Hey, knock it off. We don't actually know one of us is a killer, do we? We have no evidence of that, no. But we do know that Zero Senior is one of us. And there is an excellent chance that Zero Senior and the killer are one and the same. Then why did he kill Alice and Luna now? If Zero Senior wanted any of us dead, he could have done it way before this. While we were, I don't know, unconscious for instance. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's pretty true. What's the point of setting up this whole game just to kill off two of your participants halfway through? Then are you saying there's another person in here somewhere? It could be. It's possible. I think it might be a good idea for us to look, all look for the killer. Well, we gain nothing by standing around here. Yeah, I've got to find Quark, and soon. If we're going to search, we should go in pairs this time. How are we going to pair up then? I'm not going with Kay. If he decides he feels like snapping me in half, there's not a whole hell of a lot I can do about it. I'll go with anyone besides Dio. I don't want to go with Dio either. Fine. He's hardly my first choice, but I'll take Dio. Fi Dio? What the hell? Just figured that this way we don't have to make this into a huge argument. Besides, I'm gonna be stuck with you once we go through the chromatic doors anyway. No reason to put it off. I will go with Sigma. Oh yeah? Why would I agree to that? Would you prefer someone else? Yes. You know what? I would. No, I guess you're okay. That leaves me and Clover as a pair then. Yep. Looks like we're all set. We'll take the cyan door on floor A and the blue door on floor B. Clover, I want you to know that um, I'm jumpy. What do you mean? Uh, just kidding. Actually, I'm Santa. What? All right. Clover and I'll take the magenta door and the red door. 
that leaves us with yellow and green doors then. Once we're all done, let's meet in the floor be warehouse, alright? Got it. See you later then. Are we actually gonna have another escape room? On this path? It kind of looks like it from the flow. Whoops. Like we had another one on this path here. Whoops. Oh, did it break? Um, are the escape rooms always on the same line? It looks like it. Escape, 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 escape. So... Oh, no, there was a novel. Was that an escape room? No. Okay. Interesting. There's no one in the infirmary. No quark and no killer, at least as far as well, I can see. There is someone here. Technically, at least. The old woman. Am I alone in thinking that her face kind of looks like Junae's? Because I think that's why. Like, she kind of looks a little like Junae to me. The old woman. Oh yeah. She was lying silently on the bed furthest away from us. If it weren't for the bloodstains on her chest and arm, her peaceful expression would have fooled most people into thinking she was just asleep. Maybe she is fake stab wound the blood had dried and darkened and now looked like any other stain that was when I noticed it huh well why is the bunny going along with it then okay who was the one who was the one that Temioji found blood on their on their wrist on was it Dio it was Dio right Man, I'm Dio's gonna have a really good explanation for this, I'm sure. Wait a minute, look at her wrist. It seems remarkably clean. Yeah, for some reason there's no blood on this Maybe part. Maybe she had something on her wrist. How did we not see this until now? A watch, perhaps. Yes. A watch. It was likely removed after she was killed. That would account for the lack of blood splatter on her wrist. A watch, huh? I dunno, it just looks like it was kinda wide for a watch. Aren't women's watches usually thinner? You raise a good point. Perhaps it was some kind of jewelry? Jewelry? You mean like a bracelet or some? Of course, why didn't I see it sooner? We only just saw this like a second ago. This is the same size and shape as our bracelets. Look, look, it's exactly the same width. Then that would mean... She was wearing a bracelet when she was killed. She was a participant just like us. Are you sure? This old woman, a player in the nonary game. Okay, is something wrong? Oh, no, nothing. If you're correct, then where did the thief hide the stolen bracelet? We were quite thorough during our earlier search, but I know that I saw nothing. And none of the others reported finding a bracelet either. Then that means they've been holding on to it this whole time. They probably still got that it. Would seem likely. Okay, so if it was Dio, is his bracelet not even on properly? He's just or did it close on him again? What? Hmm, okay. No, wait. If they'd been carrying it around, the sensors in the chromatic doors would have picked it up. Without the right combination of bracelets, the secondary door would have never, never opened. So our suspect is not only a killer and a thief, but a skilled imposter as well. <gasps> what are you After saying? After killing the old woman, they put on her bracelet. In fact, it is entirely possible they are wearing it still. How is it Luna's thing then? Maybe it was more than one of the of the cubicle things that was shuffled around. Just to throw you off the scent even more. Wasn't Dio isn't Dio paired with Quark though? So Quark would oh Quark killed the old lady. No, that doesn't this doesn't make any sense. There's something missing here. Yes, that would make sense. 
So a killer's running around with the old woman's bracelet. Yes. And you're telling me they're probably wearing it. Correct. Do you remember what Zero Jr. told us? Something about how the bracelet will come off if the wearer's heart stops. I don't recall the exact words, but in any event, once the old woman had died, her bracelet would have detached, allowing the killer to easily collect it. So that they could Why? participate in the nonary game, I imagine. I mean, this game's pretty fun. Like, who wouldn't want to play? It's true, it's a good point, Kay. I what? suspect the killer was someone who was not originally intended to be a participant. It has to be Dio, then. There's no other way. Unless there's two imposters, and there's another body that we haven't found somewhere. For whatever reason, however, they were willing to go to great lengths to ensure that they were. Including hacking the, the AI. To that end, they killed the old woman, who was one of the original participants, and took her place. But why would someone do that? That? I have no idea. Certainly they must have a goal of some sort. You would have to be mad to choose to come here. They couldn't have planted it in Luna's cubicle. Luna would have said something, unless she, unless that's her moment of like, oh no, I didn't want to be considered suspicious. But then Luna then moved it? Lu Lu would Luna do that? And then... If it wasn't Luna that moved it, why would Dio move it for Luna? Oh, then again, Dio seems to like Luna for some reason. Uh, again, keep going. But as to what that goal is, and how the killer intends to achieve it, I'm afraid I do not have even speculation. Hmm, that's interesting. Have you noticed something? Well, there's blood all over the old lady's arm, except for right here. Since that's where the bracelet was, and the bracelet the killer still should have had blood on it. Right. But none of us is wearing a bloody bracelet. Sigma, please tell me you're kidding. The killer would have, of course, wiped the blood off. Only a fool would walk around with a bracelet covered in blood. I don't know, have you checked everyone's bracelet for, for blood, Kay? So you're saying they cleaned it? Yes. Have you discovered something? Kay, I know how we can identify the killer. Oh? The casino! We just need to need, just need some of that luminol. It doesn't matter how well they cleaned it, there should be some traces of blood left. Aha, I see. That could very well work. We should have everyone gather in the rec room then. Or we could go up to everyone and say under our breath, killer says what? That is where the luminol was, I believe. Okay, we'll do the, we'll do mine after we try this. Yeah, first we need to finish looking for Quark though. We've still got the infirmary and everything beyond the green door. Once we're done with that, we can head back to floor B and to meet up with everyone else. Understood. Shall we go then? Who's dead now? Why are we working with the Bacrayer? Like, come on. He lies. Let's start with his bracelet with Luminol. There's three doors here the too. Is what we found on the other side of the blue door. But. It looks like two of them are already unlocked. So it does. The center and rightmost doors both say open. Okay, why... Why is this a thing right now? This is in the thing usually. Perhaps the layout here is different. Alright. Huh. Whatever, let's take the door on the right first. Um... What? Okay. Golem Bay. We're going into the Golem Bay. Why are we going into the Golem Bay? Are we gonna get the thing from the safe while we're in here? They just left it behind. Don't know what this is. We're just gonna leave it. Oh look, hey, let me open your helmet. Who the fuck are you? Hey, here's what's this, this room? That looks like a workbench of some sort. Maybe, but what sort of work? Well, we're here to find Quark, not look for a workbench. You go check out the far end, all right? Very well. Killer says very well. Nothing. He's not here either. Wait, where is he? Hey, Kay, how's it going over there? My god! Kay, can you hear me? 
Kay was bent over with his back to me, peering underneath the thing that looked like a work patch. Okay, kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! What the hell? Kill him! I walked toward him as I spoke. Hey man, what's going on here? Oh, nothing. Kill him. He found something. I bent down and saw he was staring at something that appeared to be a safe. It's empty. Yes. Was there something in there before? No, it was empty when I found it. I don't believe you. Yes. Was it? Then what are you doing staring into an empty safe? I was thinking. Specifically, I was thinking about who opened this safe. Wouldn't that have been the team that went through the green door? I think it was Dio, Fi, and Clover. No, that's unlikely. When we met up with Dio, he told us that he had been in the treatment center. The nameplate on this door says this is the Gollum Bay, however. So you're saying they didn't go here? I believe that is the case. Which, as you can see, is why I was puzzled. Okay, so the other team came in here, though. If Dio, Fi, and Clover did not open the safe, who did? Wait, didn't the others go into the pantry? Hold on, when we were looking around, did you just solve this whole escape room while we were looking around? And you opened the safe? Okay. How are we in here? Well, there's no point thinking about it. We should get back. Yes, and there was another unlocked door, wasn't there? Yep, let's get moving then. Treatment center. He can unlock his own suit right now, that bastard. He can do it. So this is the treatment center, huh? This is the room that Dio visited. Don't you think that's kind of strange? Until now, all the chromatic doors have led to, led to a single room each. So why are there two rooms on either side of the green door? An excellent question. We can talk about the others later, I guess, to see if they know anything. Okay, I'm very confused. Can I split up and begin to look for places where Quark might have hidden or small holes he might have escaped through? Where's Charlie Cutter Robot? Huh? What are these? They must be the treatment pods Dio mentioned. The window's all covered with frost on the inside. I can't see Shall in. Shall we open it? Yes, might as well. Have at it. Uh-oh. What? I knew it. Quark. No, oh no. His his bracelet, it's oh god. Hold on, Sigma. Calm down. Look at his chest. Can you see it moving? What? I quickly pressed a finger to Quark's wrist. It was faint, but his heartbeat was there. He's he's alive. He's alive. <sighs> quickly close the pod or else he won't be for much longer. What a relief. I'm so glad to know he's safe. Okay, so he did the golem room all by himself. I laughed out loud and grabbed Kay in a bear hug, or at least as much as one as could manage. Why are we suddenly besties? Mutual oomphies going around. What, what the hell? He patted me on the back and shared what I thought might have been a relieved chuckle. Ho, 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 ho. Great friends. But if he's alive, why is his bracelet off? Zero Junior said it would only come off when he died. Perhaps Zero Senior took it off? What? I have why? No idea. Then maybe Zero Senior brought Quark here and put him in this pod thing too. Well, even if he did, we don't have any way to know why. This pod is for medical treatment. Perhaps Quark has contracted some sort of illness. He's sick? What has he got? How would I know that? In any event, we should return and let the rest of our companions know that we found Quark. Use your eye scanners! I imagine Tenmyoji in particular will be pleased. Yeah, I bet. Do you think we can? you can carry him, or...? Yeah. I believe it would be best to leave Quark here. Why? As I mentioned, there is a chance he has fallen ill. If so, then removing him from the pod would be dangerous. The treatment he is currently undergoing could be compromised. I'll close oh. the pod's cover then. Is that alright? Yeah, sure. It's starting to feel like... It's starting to feel like even some of the actual physical events are starting to merge between the timelines. He always ends up in the in in the in the pod. It feels like a room solved itself that shouldn't have been solved. It's always the same bodies in the same area. Like it's it's pretty interesting actually. I wonder if that's intentional or if it's just like a side effect of there being the same timeline for a lot of the things going on. Wait, um, I just saw something. Are you sure he's going to be all right? What do you mean? 
Well, what happens if he wakes up? Can he open that thing on his own? You'll be fine. How do you I know? I a lever inside that can be used to open the cover. Okay, you're lying. So long as no one locks the pod, he should be able to leave whenever he wants. Okay, let's lock the pod. I don't like him, but if someone locks him in, he's screwed. Yes, that is what I said. No, that's not what I said. Ooh. But you needn't worry. You see? I have not engaged the lock. Now, we should return to the Floor B warehouse. I imagine the others are already there. <laughs> Right, yeah, okay, let's go. Joe believes in time travel, lol? What? Like, the game is time travel. What the fuck are you talking about? That's a, that's a weird heckle. What the hell? Big weird vibes. You're late. You're one to talk. How much earlier did you get back again? I'd be surprised if you searched at all. This is it? Yeah. Clover and Tenmyoji still aren't back. So, find anything? We found Quar. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. Yeah? Well, go on. Spill it. I explained to them how we found Quark in the treatment center. I see. Well, that's good to hear. Little jerk. Making us all worried. Smile. There is more. And that is? Someone solved an extra escape room. When did they have time to do that? There is still some cause for concern. Just spit it out. Quark may have contracted an illness of some sort. As such, he has been left in the treatment pod. Will he be all right? <laughs> yeah, he'll probably... Probably? Do you even... Whatever. At least we found him. Pretty lucky he's alive, too. What do you mean by that? I mean what I said, genius. Yep. Yeah. He probably has a good reason for being snippy with you right now, Kay. You did lie in the AB game. Yeah, Dio, Dio's still fine. I'm glad he's not dead, aren't you? As equivocal as ever, I see. How kind of you to say so. So, was Quark all you found? The way you were talking made it sound like there was something else. <laughs> yeah, I'll explain that after Temioji and Clover get back. <laughs> There's something I want to ask you, you about for- Wait, what is this bullshit? Why did we come back and just tell them what we found? We needed to rush through the door, out of breath, and be like, <sighs> Fi! Dio! Thank God I found you! Come quick! We found something! What is this Sigma? No, no, no! No, you just have to come see! Quickly! To the loading screen! <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Look! 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 Look in the pod! Look in the pod! It's Quark! Damn! Now we have to go find Temmyoji! That, that's what we should have done. When you went through the green door, did you search the two different rooms? Two? No, just the treatment center. I see. Then what was the other what one? What do you mean, the other one? You know, where that where there's that intersection with three doors? Well, when Kay and I went there, two of the doors were unlocked. You guys unlocked the one that went to the treatment center when you went through the green door. But the other one... Who could have opened it? Who could have opened it? Don't look at me. I told you, we only opened the one that went to the treatment center. Could it have been Zero Senior? I don't know. Mm. So did you and Kay go through the other door? We did. What was in there? The Gollum room. Why are we telling her? Let's just go show her. But <laughs> nothing really. It to be some sort of room for servicing something. Go on. That doesn't make any sense. So what the hell was whoever opened that door looking for? Who knows? Tenmyoji and Clover are running rather late. Should we go and look for them? <laughs> No, there's something I want to check first. It's never easy with you, is it? I want to see the thing on the wall again to see if it if it adds up to 25 letters. Well, let's get it over with. Can I see the thing on the wall again? God damn it. Huh. This is the rec room. Dio and I came here earlier when we were looking for Quark. So why are we here? Was there something here you needed to see? I said nothing and instead made my way over to the cabinet. 
Inside was the luminol. I reached in and pulled it out, then headed to the light switch and flipped it. Okay, so it was, it's like... It's... Ma... Man... So... Mori... If... The... Ninth... Lion... I don't know why that's lowercase. Eight, the sun, like that, right? Is that it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-three, one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. Thirty. So it's thirty-five letters. I think that's it, right? How many letter? How many numbers were in the code that was in um, Dio's transmitter? Was it twenty-five? It was. It was five sets of five, wasn't it? So that's. This is ten too many. Um, what if you take this away? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nah, it's eleven. Never mind. Okay. I think it was five sets of five. Okay. Never mind. The game went. The room went dark, and I headed back to where the others were still standing. Whoa, whoa! What is this? You gonna start telling ghost stories or something? Why? You scared of ghosts? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Of course I am. I'm. A, I'm a smart person. Who isn't scared of ghosts? <laughs> then show me how brave you are. Stick out your bracelet. You too, Fi. Our bracelets? Yeah, I want to see the underside of them. What do you mean by that? I think. I think meeting a ghost would be fucking cool and a big, huge relief. It's like. Even if it's a violent spirit, you'd be like, holy shit, there's an afterlife. I don't give a shit what happens to me right now. Like, he's like, whoa, okay, that's a huge revelation. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> do, what, do what you want, ghost. Like, whatever, dude. What do you mean by that? <laughs> the side of the bathroom, the side that doesn't have the display on it. Come on, you really gonna make me explain this? I know what you mean. What I'm asking is what the hell you think you're... <laughs> psst, psst. Just do it. It's not hard. Should I also participate? No, you're fine, Kay. Your bracelet is a little different from ours. But if I'll join it, just make it fair. There was a brief moment of hesitation before Dio and Fi stuck out their arms. I held mine out as well, wrist pointed upward. This okay? Yeah, just hold it like that for a moment. By our power combined. As fast as I could, I pulled the luminal from my pocket and sprayed it across all three of our wrists. Ugh. Cold. What the hell, man? Dio jerked his arm back with a shout. I don't see anything glowing. Fi's bracelet is clean, so is mine, of course. That leaves only Dio. Wait, what are you talking about? I'll explain in a minute. Just show me your bracelet. No, is something wrong? Just show it to me. Come on, Dio, we don't have time do for this. I have to do what you tell me to? Because I'm trying to prove your innocence. Like hell you are. I don't know what you're looking for. But you're not going to find it on me. Then just show me your arm. No! You don't get to order me around. I have rights. No, you don't. Clones don't have human rights. As he spoke, Dio made a break for the exit. And then our big, fast, armored friend that was able to run across the, the, the cargo bay before anyone else got to the door before him and made him, right? He didn't get far. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dio. Yeah. <sighs> He spun around toward the other exit. Stop what? him. Don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Right. No, he's left. All three of us left the Dio. Oh, man. My god. I knew it. His bracelet's glowing. Then that means... Let me go! Get off of me, you fuckers! Dio, you killed the old lady. No! You don't understand! This is all some kind of a mistake. She was dead when I got there. Shit. What's going on here? I think it's about time you gave us the full story. No, we don't tell you shit, Fi. No, no. As quickly as I could, I explained to Fi what Kay had and, and I had noticed on the old woman's wrist. So the person with the bloody bracelet would have to be the person who killed her. Not necessarily. It would just have to be the person who took the bracelet and found her body first. 
Yeah, exactly. And I'm, I'm not saying that. Even if they wiped it off, I figured the luminol would still react to the blood. Looks like I was right. We've got you, Dio. You might as well confess. Doesn't it kind of look like, though, that... The bracelet has, like, little, like, gaps in it? Wouldn't there still be blood on the lady's arm from it, like, seeping through that a little bit? Or was it laying in it, maybe? So it wouldn't be? It wouldn't go on? Uh, eh, whatever. Well. <laughs> All right, fine. You caught me. I did it. Whoa. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Whoa. You're calling her old? What the hell? Are you what? zero? No. I was under orders. I was sent here to... To do... Something. <laughs> to do what? Who gave you this order? Brother. Die before I tell you. You've already told us. <laughs> so your orders were more important than Alice and Luna's lives? Oh, whoa. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I killed the old lady, but that's it. No, if uh, we distinctly remember you saying that whoever killed Alice and Luna also killed the old lady right from the horse's mouth, which as we know from earlier is also you. So for sure, you damned yourself. I don't know anything about what happened to Alice and Luna. <laughs> that wasn't you? Tread carefully, Sigma. This man is not to be trusted. He has already shown he is willing to lie and kill. Oh, just like you betrayed us in, in the in the AB game? Come on, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Even if we do believe you, you're still a killer. Big Nato vibes. You just haven't killed as many people. Sorry, Teddy. Exactly. He should be restrained somehow. If we leave him be, he may well kill again. <laughs> but where would we put him? Is there a room we can lock or anything? Ah, perhaps we could put him in one of the treatment pods. Once we've locked it, he should be unable to escape. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. wait! I'll be good, I, I promise! <laughs> yeah, I think you're onto something, Kay. Let's go with that. Come on, please! Hey, listen to me! <laughs> we'll let you out when you the white door's open. Someone's going to need your bracelet to open the secondary door. Don't fuck with me, you guys! There's no way in hell I'm going in that thing! Why don't we just break his arms? Just break his arms, Kay! Let go! Let's go. Let me go! God damn it! I told you assholes to let me go! You can't do this! Stop! Stop! Please stop! Please! No, you can't! Let's go on for a while. <laughs> Poor Dio. this fucking thing I said open it god damn it <laughs> I don't think so ah, you're gonna pay for this when I get out of here I'm gonna fucking end you <laughs> so I guess we figured out who the murderer was and we and we found Quark now all that's left to do is find Clover and Tenmyoji they're dead everything's coming up Sigma yeah why don't we head back to the warehouse and start from there? Are they handcuffed to the sink again? They may have already returned. <laughs> Let's Good go. point. Let's go. <laughs> warehouse B. Beep for beep. Uh-oh. It's the curse music. Huh, looks like they aren't back yet. Perhaps they went to look for us. Oh man, now we've, now we've got to go look for them. One of us should really be back there in, in the treatment center, right? There's three of us, one of us could stay there. How much time until the white doors open? 50 minutes. Then I don't think we really need to hurry yet. Why don't we wait a little longer? For all we know, they're on their way back right now. Can I nodded. By the way, there was something I wanted to ask you guys about. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Quark's bracelet. When we found him in the pod, he wasn't wearing it. Why? <laughs> 
How should I know? Wait, did we find Quark's bracelet? Was it next to him? It must have been, right? Presumably, it had been taken off before we found him. So we have no idea where it is. Oh, it's not in... Oh, okay. Interesting. Pretty much. That's not good. So we weren't the first ones to find him then. Probably still Dio. Without that bracelet, we won't be able to continue the game. What? We need three bracelets to open the secondary door. If we lose one... Oh no. We wouldn't be able to go through the secondary door. Yeah. Who would be pairing up with Quark? Quark's bracelet should be a red solo. That would mean he'd be with the Cyan pair. Who's the Cyan pair? Clover and Tenmyoji. The two people who are missing. Quark's bracelet is gone, and his two teammates have disappeared. What's going on? Does that mean Clover and Tenmyoji took the bracelet? Well, if they found Quark before you did... Yeah, there's a good chance they did. Then why aren't they back yet? Perhaps they've already gone through the white door. What? No, that's not possible. The primary doors haven't even opened yet. Perhaps someone opened one of them. I don't How? know. I don't know. But it's happened before. Has it? Remember the three doors on the other side of the green door? Someone made one of them open. Perhaps this is the same thing. Yeah, I'm still really confused about that. What the fuck is that all about? But, but that's against the yes, rules. Yes, I know. But if the person opening the doors is Zero Senior, do you really think the rules matter? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, a game in this series by by this developer? Oh yeah, absolutely. They're not allowed to break the rules. Zero Senior controls the entire game. So are you saying Clover or Tenmyoji is Zero Senior? It is a possibility. It would explain why they still haven't shown up. God, chat was so insufferable during the Danganronpa games when as soon as the bear broke a rule and I was just like, okay, well, if the bear can break the rules, all the rules don't matter then. And, and there's so many people in chat that are like, nah, it's only one rule break. It's probably okay. Like, it's fine. No, they still have to go over the rest of the game. Like, just like, no, as soon as the bear broke one rule, all the rules are out. Like, it just, nothing fucking matters anymore. Like, it's just not even one of them matters. As soon as the fucking bear breaks a rule, like, the whole thing is kaput. Like... Could they really have taken Quark's bracelet and gone through one of the white doors? If they did, we won't know where they went until the doors open for the rest of us. So I would assume. This is still all just speculation, though. Maybe we should go look for them again. One of us can stay behind so we don't miss them if they come okay. back. Or one of us could stay with stay in the treatment center, too. I'll stay. Okay. Sigma and I will go see if we can find them then. Oh man, it's like Sigma and K's big adventure. Make sure you get back five minutes before the door opens, all right? All right. Oh, and don't forget to bring Dio with you. Of course. Arms broken. Average Rules fan versus Average Chaos Enjoyer. Well, I like Chaos in stories as well. It wasn't so much that I, I wanted the rules to stay, to stay, you know, rigidly followed in the story for the story's sake. It was that as soon as the bear broke a rule, the character shouldn't follow the rules anyway either. It's like, okay, well, why are we being bound by this shit? Like, obviously, he's not going to keep his word, you know? This is the pantry. So it would appear. It becomes a character problem, less of a story problem. Well, looks like they're not here. When we started looking for Quark, they were sent off to search everything beyond the red door, which would have meant this room. I'm not gonna do us any good to hang around here, though. Let's head upstairs. Well. They're forced to follow. They're not though. They're they're all. They could just all just go together and just be like, fuck it, we're not playing the game, fuck it. Like, obviously you're just doing this for your own sick and twisted enjoyment, and they just all shut down. They just form a union within the game. We, we the union of the Danganronpa game, game whatever, have decided that we're not playing this game because you're not following by the rules, so why the fuck should we? Like, seriously, just be like, fuck it. And then they all, then they all die. Then they all, they're all gonna die anyway. Then they all die. What is going to happen here? I want to see the flow chart. Oh, 
Oh, we're still here. No one here either, huh? I bet that would make a fun story. Which is why that the mastermind shouldn't break the rules of the game. If I remember correctly, it wasn't even for a good reason. No one here either, huh? <laughs> Temioji loves scotch so much. I guess I thought we might find him here drinking some. Do we know that about Temioji? It was around that time that I noticed Kay was acting strangely. He was staring at the shelf of alcohol in a way that I probably would have described as blankly if I could have actually seen his eyes. Uh-oh. Hey, what's up? You want a drink? Oh, no. Well, I would enjoy a drink, but this mask... Right, sorry, that sucks. Honestly, I gotten so used to the suit, I kind of forgot you were wearing it. Yeah, me too, actually, at one point. Why the heck did they make you wear that thing anyway? You still don't remember anything? Ooh. Well, actually, I... I did remember a little. Really? Yes. What do you remember? My father. Oh. Is his name brother? When dad... When dad, you remember that. Typo or intentional? Did it just pop up out of nowhere? Please, don't joke. Oh, okay. This is serious. Okay. Hi, serious. I'm Sigma. I'm sorry. So you remember who your father was? Yes. What about your mom? I don't seem to have one. Okay. I. Oh. So your dad raised you? Well. Uh oh. Is it the K ending? K stopped for a moment, then calmly folded his hands in front of him. I was raised in the facility <laughs> where my father worked. <laughs> the only person who worked there is that a... he was the only person i saw until i was older is that a bunny that's pretty sus that had been the situation for as long as i could remember though so i never thought it odd he wouldn't allow me to go near him while i was working but he was the only t but the only times he wasn't working were the times he when he was sleeping okay so is he one of the first generation of clones and they weren't they have to be in a, a, a protective suit all along as such, the only communication I had w was with the education software he given me. I suppose I was a fairly expressionless child then. Uh, we developed body language to communicate with others, and with no one else to communicate with, I suppose it makes sense. Once I learned, once I learned to read and write, I began to realize my situation was not normal. Many of my books mentioned a mother as part of a family, and in several, the mother, father, and children would eat meals together and talk to one another. Soon, I found myself longing for a mother of my own, someone who would always be with me, who would scold me if I did something wrong. At night, they would read to me before bedtime. If only I had a mother like that, I thought I would be so happy. So, for the first time in my life, I asked my father for something. He had finished working, and as usual, may... the first time, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. As usual, was making his way toward his bedroom when I stopped him and asked for a mother. He looked at me and silently for a long moment before finally responding, Okay. I remember to this day how happy I was at that moment. A few months later, he called me into his laboratory. It was the first time he'd ever done anything like that. My heart was beating quickly as I stepped inside. Standing next to him was a young woman and my hopes soared. But when he said her name, or rather her ID number, they were dashed. He had given me a robot to play the part of a mother. What? I didn't want a mother that was just a machine who did what a human told her. When I told my father that, he looked surprised for the first time in my life. Then he frowned, coughed, and admonished me for being a whiner. Oh man, relatable. He never scolded me for anything. <laughs> disappointed and you're not like explaining it or confused or wanting to confess you called him a 
fucking whiner. He never scolded me for anything before. At first, I was surprised, then angry. Hot tears streamed down my face. My father ordered the robot to take care of me and shoot us out of his lab. The robot was very convincing, and she smiled and spoke as if she was a real person, but I refused to answer her and locked myself in her ring. Getting some Luna vibes from that. You can talk to a robot, and it will respond, but in the end, you're still talking to a machine, not a person. If that was what I'd wanted, I'd still... I, I, I still had the education software my father had given me. When I ignored the robot as it tried to take care of me, it looked sad. It couldn't really be sad, of course. It was only programmed to look that way. D plot twist, it actually was a person all along. A robot's facade of sadness didn't mean anything to me. After that, I stopped expecting anything from my father. We'd never really spoken to begin with, so it was easy enough for me to make sure we never saw one another. I live my life as if he didn't even exist. Perhaps it seems strange to you that I continued to live with him, but I never considered leaving, because I was a child and I couldn't. Perhaps in the hidden depths of my heart, I longed for a relationship with my father. Everything changed when I was 18. The Fire Nation attacked. I left my room one morning to find a woman standing outside of it. Alright, that's the old lady for sure, right? She was the first human I'd ever seen, apart from my father, and I was under and I was understandably surprised. For a moment, I thought my father had created a new robot, but when I told her told her that she laughed and explained that she had come to help him as it turned out she was a very mysterious person she was much older than i was but something about the way she behaved was almost girlish she would tell me stories about the world outside in such a way that i was never sure if she was telling the truth or making it fantastic oh that's june for sure that june for sure absolutely june for sure wikipedia possum vibes oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. ultimately though the truth didn't matter i loved her stories she wasn't helping my father directly with his research so i spent most of my days with her before long, I discovered she knew my father when he was young. Your father is... Oh god, it could be any of them. She told me stories of how he'd fallen in love, with, in love as a younger man. How he'd fallen in love as a younger man, and I began to imagine that the person he'd fallen in love with had been her, and that she was, in fact, secretly my mother. After she settled in with us, our long-established routine began to change drastically. First, we started to eat together. Before then, I had never shared a meal with anyone in 18 years. What the fuck? She scolded me for my table manners, or more accurately, the lack thereof. If I was going to eat with others, she said, I would need to be more polite. Alright, so I'm starting to get the impression that the little robot suit is just, like, so we don't see what they look like. And it, he wasn't actually grown up in a little robot suit, right? It's gotta be that, right? Like... It, yeah, like, that's kind of weird, actually. They, they should have made that a little bit more clear, maybe, yeah. Um, what do you mean, obviously? What do you mean, oh, it's not obvious at all? Wait, it's this game. It re I'm still not even sure of it. I'm just starting to think of it. What do you mean, obviously? He might have been born in a little robot fucking suit. Like, and he just, as he gets older, the suit has to get bigger. Like, he's like, he's like a fucking robot goldfish that has to, like, fucking constantly upgrade its tank as it grows older. It's not obvious at all. It still might be that. You know, if I was going to eat with others, she said, I would need to be more polite. Having eaten alone for my entire life manners had been something I'd even thought about. My father got in trouble, too, when he made the mistake of reading through research papers during dinner. The look of surprise and embarrassment of, on his face made me burst into laughter. I couldn't remember the last time I shared a laugh with my father. It might have been the first time. The room we considered we considered our living room changed too. Before it had just been another room, but she made it comfortable. After we finished with our dinner, I would sit on the sofa and relax with her and my father. Those times were the ones I cherished, cherished, cherished the most. For a little while, every day I got the family I'd longed for ever since I was a child. At her suggestion, I started to help with my father's research. He specialized in genetic... In genetic engineering, I discovered I had interest in it as well. Time faded away, and I lost myself in research. Okay, so this is brother? Brother... What the fuck is going on here? So, like, if this is brother, then brother is either... That's June for sure. So brother is either Santa, maybe Jumpy. If it is Jumpy, then ju that Jumpy, Jumpy is Kay's father... And Quark is Kay's son, and he doesn't remember. But also, Jumpy had a no. It can't be. I don't even know what. I can't even. I can't even begin to to morb to the answer here. I don't even fucking know. Time faded away, and I lost myself in research. And also, Dio is the clone of Jumpy's dead brother, Left, who is also totally not dead, by the way, because it's the same genetic material. Who else had a brother? Like, like I thought it was going to be... It could be any of them. 
Now that we were working and studying together, my father and I had a great deal to talk about. For the first time in my life, we began to speak about what speak with one another like a father and son. Whenever I impressed him with something I'd learned, I felt a surge of happiness, and it drove me drove me to study even harder. My days felt full, right, and meaningful. But most importantly, I was happy. Four years passed in the blink of an eye until one day I happened to overhear my father and the woman speaking in the laboratory. What the fuck is this? That looks like Snake. Their tone was serious, so I listened closer, curious to know what they were talking about. That was when I heard her say that she planned to give her life to give her life to achieve their goals. It was clear that she wasn't being metaphorical. She would have to die. I was in shock. The research I had thrown myself into would lead to her death. I asked my father to stop his research immediately. He refused to listen. She agreed with him. She told me that since she she told me that she had been prepared for that since she had what she had to do. I can't read this. She told me that she had been prepared for what she had to do since the day she came to our facility. Okay, reading's hard. My father had known about it from the beginning as well. Angry and disappointed, I began to investigate what exactly the research I had I'd been helping with was working toward. Perhaps, I thought, I could figure out a way to keep her alive. I discovered much more than I bargained for. To begin with, I learned that the ultimate success of my father's research would require a, gr a good deal of sacrifice. Yeah, just remembered a little, by the way, and all I also learned that my own existence was just another part of his project. I had been created to function as my father's spare. What? And if he died during his research, I was, I was intended to continue it in his place. I was stunned. I was furious with my father and with her and even with the research I poured myself into four years. There was only... Is it another Dio under there? Is he going to... Oh, if I, it's Dio number two. There's only one thing to do. Destroy the facility and end my father's horrible research once and for all. I made, I made plans to destroy the main reactor with it, the entire facility. But she saw right through me. My father was livid and locked me in my room until his research was complete. All I could think of was how I might stop him. Since she did, her, she did her best to convince me that I misunderstood that everything would be fine. As much as I wanted to believe her, I remembered in the back of my mind that she had been the one who pushed me to become involved in my father's research. Had that been an earnest desire to give, give me something to do with my life, or still I couldn't bring myself to hate her. She had given me a reason to live. Even if she had conspired with my father to mold me into his replacement, the warmth she'd shown me had been re real. She would made me feel as if I had a real family, and that was something I wouldn't have given up for the world. I pleaded with her to leave, but she quietly shook her head. There's still three more blocks on this route after this by the way there is someone very special to her she told me he would have saved her life he had saved her life once and she felt her death would help to repay that forever okay so it's not jumpy all right not jumpy unless he's talking she's talking about sand okay who knows she would have liked nothing more than to marry him. okay it's jumpy and live a happy well it's anime so it still could be santa live a happy normal life together but she couldn't for his sake she said and for the sake of the future she had wanted she was determined to see my father's research succeed i realized then that although she was the most important person in my life there was someone more important than me and hers she tried to explain that beyond what we could see was a future where no one would have to die but i refused to listen what good was a potential future to me? It was what I had. To, it was I had now that I wanted. I couldn't stand to think that she would give her life for a man I'd never even seen. So I shut myself off from the world. Perhaps that is th that is why I lost my memory. Wait. So if it is Snake, then it's a clone of Snake. And oh, please. Oh, please, not again. Not again! It's okay, let out a deep, tired sigh. I'm sorry. I lost track of time. It sounds like Snake. Oh, I want to know so bad. It's not okay. Not having any memories is less than desirable. But it could be argued that regaining them is almost more taxing. So you remember almost everything? No. The details are still indistinct, especially more recent events. Especially? Huh? Um, Sigma, I'm sorry, but would it be alright if I laid down for a bit? What's wrong? I don't feel very well. Very well. It must be because I remembered so much so quickly. My head feels like it's going to explode. Whoa. Are you okay? Yes. I think I just need to rest. Okay, take as long as you need. I'll go look for Clover and Tamioji myself. I'm sorry. 
Thank you. Kay lowered himself heavily onto the red sofa in the corner of the room. Well, I guess I'd better get moving. Why are we here? We're just... We're just some fucking college student that was writing a paper. Uh, Christmas uh, almost means it's not Christmas. Why are we here? Is it fake robot implanted memories? Like, why the fuck are we here? I don't, I don't get it. Everyone else here has has king level backstory. We're just like, oh, I was writing a paper. It was behind schedule. Sorry. But I had a girl. Oh, we weren't a virgin and we have a girlfriend. Okay, that that is like actual like crazy backstory for an anime protagonist. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we're really interesting. I stepped out of the room and nearly ran into Fi. What are you doing? You're supposed to be waiting back in the warehouse. Yeah, I know. I just decided to go check on you guys. I waited a long time and nobody showed up. Judging by your face, you haven't found them either. Damn. Our backstory is going to be vividly describing what it was like to get a girlfriend. <laughs> and all the rest of the characters are going to be like, oh, my god. <laughs> yeah. <Where's Kay? laughs> He's in the you decided to split up? <laughs> well, not quite. Instead of waiting for my answer, she opened the door to the lounge and walked in. And he was gone. He's gone. He's gone for sure. He's gone. What's up with him? Oh, he's still there. Okay. I guess he's not feeling too well. He said we want he wanted to rest for a he bit. Alright? I think so. We should leave him alone now. No, he's gone! He took the suit off with his thing. He put it back and he took it off and he put it down and now he's like he's he's fucking loose skinning it all over the facility. Just just we think he's still here. <laughs> Remember, there's a real person inside that suit. Is there? <laughs> Is there, though? I'm sure he's just tired. tired huh? <laughs> How are you feeling? What? I'm so tired just looking at you. Your face is like a weak old sock. Really? Well, I guess I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little exhausted. I mean, all of, a, all of a sudden I wake up trapped in some weird-ass game and then dead bodies start turning up. Honestly, I'm amazed I've managed to hold on to my sanity for this long. Okay, that wasn't an ending! Just about everything here makes absolutely zero sense. The more I try and figure out figure any of it out, the more I feel like my brain's just going to melt and run, run out my ears. You know what I'm talking about, right? No. We managed to figure out who the killer was and there's still a hundred other questions we have no idea about. Where the hell are we? Why are we even here? What's this whole no nerd game thing for? I'm starting to feel an ending coming on. And what is Zero Senior up to? Hell, what about who Zero Senior is? The rabbit said he was one of us, but... Do you think it's Dio? Besides, we still don't know why Dio killed them. He said he was ordered to, but... And there's more too. What about the old lady? Who is she? What's her deal? Hell, what are any of our deals? Apart from mine, I know mine. I had a girlfriend once. <gasps> you did? Do you want another one? I don't know what jack shit about anybody here. I don't know anything about you, Fi. Are you serious? I'm not Superman, you know that. You can't honestly suspect me, can you? You are pretty suspicious. No, that's I'm not it. I'm just like you. Whoa. I was kidnapped on December 25th and brought here too. She trailed off. <sighs> you heard that, right? Yeah. It came from the hallway. Well Let's go look. Please, please, please be naked, K. Please. Why loading screen? No. Please. Oh, 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 please. There's nobody here. Maybe they got it on the elevator. Let's try hitting the button. If the door doesn't open immediately, then we'll know the elevator's downstairs. So, let's go. St 
Stop teasing and get to the show. Come on. No, are we showing every door? Which way? Where do you think they went? Let's just head for the green door. Why? Because Why? the treatment center's there. That's where Dio and Quark are. That's a good point. Okay. Uh, so? You aren't worried? I just want to make sure they're safe. They're fine. Temioji or Clover probably made that noise. Well, maybe both of them. I don't think they'd hurt Quark or Dio. Are you sure? And then when they went in there, standing over the pod, is the, is the fucking Yeti. Oh, okay, so was the Yeti all along? Are you sure? Dio huh? admitted to killing the old woman, but he still insists that he didn't kill Alice or Luna. What if he's telling the truth? Why don't we talk on the way? Are you serious? You're gonna Doesn't believe him? I just want to know if they're safe. No harm in being careful. Do, 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 do. Okay. For fuck's sake. Treatment center. Who the fuck are you? We headed to the first pod. Okay, it is still locked, it looks like. I cracked open the top and lifted it back. There was Quark sound asleep. Yeah, See? I guess you're right. I was probably getting worried for nothing. Oh, that's open! How about Dio? It's open! Let's open his. Wait, why would we open it? Why didn't we just knock on it and say, Dio, are you home? What the hell? Check his pulse. He's dead for sure. It was pointless to check his pulse. He was obviously dead, but I did it anyway. Yeah, he's dead. Look. <laughs> the oxygen level for his pod says zero percent. That means we killed him. Then that means he asphyxiated. But why? Someone must have tampered with the pod and lowered the oxygen levels. Or maybe they're, these aren't meant to be used right now. Who? Look, you should go tell Kay about it this. Was naked snake. Come on. Kay. Let's go. I can't wait to see the map when, when they try to figure this out later. And Kay, Kay actually went into the treatment center, and then when we came in, he ran in and went to the south a little bit. And then when we came in here, he he just like holding, cupping his hands over his balls, tiptoed out because it was cold, down around the end, back up into the elevator. Blah, 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 blah. And now he only knew he had a couple seconds to get his suit back on. Come on, squeeze in. All right, put it back on. All right, here we go. Like without waiting for me to fall, if I turn and ran off to the deep breath. Why wouldn't you just go down there with the suit on? Like, <laughs> why didn't I burst in the lounge and ran up to Kay? <laughs> Kay, wake up. Something's happened. When he didn't move, I grabbed him by the shoulders and shook. He twitched and quickly sat up. What, what is it? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I was wrong. We explained about how we found Dio dead and how it looked like he died of asphyxiation. It appeared that someone had reduced his oxygen level in his pod to zero. What? But why? I thought that Dio was the one who killed the old woman, Alice, and Luna. Then who killed him if he was the murderer? The only people who could have done it are Clover and Temioji. There's also Quark. Or it just malfunctioned! What? No, that's impossible. Or it could have been you! It could have been you. Are you suggesting Quark woke up, opened his pod from the inside, killed Dio, and then went back to sleep? Yes. No, I'm just saying that strictly speaking, it's a possibility. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. So just, you know, take it into consideration. Quark opening that and killing him is almost as crazy as 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 uh, Kay taking off his suit and. <laughs> I hope that's what it is. I hope so much that that's what it is. <laughs> he turned from snail to slug, killed someone, and then went back to snail mode. Please. Oh, um, well, In that case, fine. I hate to say it, but doesn't that mean that you could have done it? Oh, it's true. Me? Yes. You could have done it any time after Sigma and I left the Floor B warehouse. Don't give me that. I was waiting for Clover and Tenmyoji to show up. They never did, though, so I got impatient and went to find you guys. Then I bumped into Sigma in front of the lounge. Could have been us then. 
She went on to explain about the sound we'd heard. I see. So you heard something. Then perhaps it is likely that Clover and Tenyoji were at fault. Were the two of you together the whole time you were investigating? Yes, we were. You never split up or anything? <laughs> hmm. No. In any event, we don't have a great deal of time to discuss it. <laughs> oh crap, we've only got seven minutes until the primary doors open. All right. Did we take Dio's bracelet? Let's get back to the floor B warehouse. Maybe Clover and Tenmyoji are already there. Oh, but where is Dio's bracelet? <laughs> His what? Huh? You didn't take it? Dio was a green solo. Phi and I are the magenta pair. Shit. You're right. All right, back through the loading screen. Without Dio's bracelet, we won't be able to open the secondary door. <sighs> I fear not. <laughs> then we need to hurry. We'll drop the treatment center on the way back and grab the bracelet. All three of us don't need to go. Whoa, what? You two go on ahead. I'll get the bracelet. No, 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 right. no, 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 we stay together. Oh, one other thing. I need to give you these. <laughs> the yellow pair bracelets. <laughs> Were these Alice and Luna's? Yes. Without these, you would be stuck. So, here you are. Please, take them. I grabbed the bracelets and shoved them in my pocket. Oh, are we alone? Alright, let's get going. Are we fully fully going, Commando, in, in the next store? I guess that's true. Yeah, alright, let's get going. Alright. <laughs> Shit. They're not here. Maybe they did go through the door, like Kay said. But then who killed Dio? With Quark's bracelet? Or... Or what? Oh, come on, man. You better not give me that. Maybe they're already dead crap. I got enough of that from Dio. You've got to be kidding me. This isn't funny, Fi. If you're right, then you, Kay, Quark, and I are the only people still alive hey, here. lay off. I want to believe they're alive, too. But... We heard a noise and turns. Santa Claus? I apologize for keeping you. Did you get Dio's bracelet? Well, technically, yes, but... Huh? Best you just see it. Oh, uh, for fu... This is what I found in Dio's pod. What? What? I assume whoever murdered Dio did this. But why? I can't say There's for no sure. Point. Did who needed this? But if I were to guess. Wait, you can do that? That's an option? Chromatic doors have opened. If they're breakable, why don't you just break them? Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. With a bracelet like this, I doubt we can get past the secondary door. That means Kay and I. Oh no. Shit. You're you're gonna When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. You're gonna morb. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll they'll be penalized. Okay, so has Kay realized that he can take the suit off so he doesn't have the the uh the arm th the bracelet on anymore and this is just his way of killing Fi right now? I see. That's what they wanted. Whoever killed Dio wanted to use the game to kill me and Kay. That's why they broke the bracelet. I think so. It makes the most sense. <laughs> How can you be so calm? In five minutes you're gonna be... be... Go on ahead, Sigma. You have those bracelets Kay gave you, right? You should be able to get through the secondary door with those. Okay, and then after all this, we're gonna finally be able to open the door by ourselves, right? No one's gonna stop us? Or all the- after everyone's dead and I open the door by myself, are all your ghosts gonna come up and ghost pile on me? No, you still can't leave! No, you're not allowed! So just... Fuck that, you know I can't just ditch you guys like that. But if you stay here, you'll- You think I don't know that? But what kind of monster am I to just leave you here to die? Arg, goddammit. This was bad. What was I gonna do? I need to calm down. Just calm down. Calm down and think. There have to be a way to save them. There had. The first is 
an anesthetic called Soparilla Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurin. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. Okay, so shove some metal things underneath to block the needles from being able to inject you. Done. My brother told me about that. Neostigmine is a type of cholinesterase inhibitor. That means it's sort of an antidote for tubocurine. I knew it! Give it back. I found it so it's mine. <gasps> to the to the treatment center! <laughs> to each according to his needle. Achievement unlocked, of course. The antidote. The antidote. To the treatment center! I didn't have time to explain! Come with me! Yes, finally! Finally, we're the ones that do it! No, just follow! Beep, 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 beep! I took our friend toward the exit! Yes! Dun, 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 dun. Where are you going? Stay here! I'll be right back! I bolted out of the warehouse toward the treatment room. Beep, beep! <laughs> <sighs> so get fucked K, I guess. I think Dio put it in his pocket. Come on, come on, come on. Please still have it. Sweat was pouring down my face, but I didn't bother to wipe it off. There was there wasn't time. I dug frantically through Dio's coat until I found the injector thing and also a bunch of bomb materials and also a shot put ball. I, I dropped my backpack that I'm only now telling you that I carry. I put the shot put ball and all the bomb parts into it. I mixed it all around and I made a huge shot put ball bomb and I put it underneath the thing. I'm gonna kill everybody. Aha! I found it. Oh, oh, there's only one dose. The injection gun uses the whole bottle at once. Shit, I can't save both of them. One okay. minute remains until chromatic doors close. Oh, and one of you has to stay behind and use it. <laughs> one minute? Shit. I spun around and shot out of the treatment center. Three, two, one. Quick fly, inject yourself with this. Don't ask questions. Chromatic doors. Closing. No, you gotta be kidding me. Oh dear. Sigma. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic soparol. Uh, so we're injecting ourselves? I blinked and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble and then gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. No, I couldn't fall asleep. I had to give one of them the antidote before my bracelet injecting me with tubercurine. With every ounce of strength I could muster, I forced my eyes back open. Kay was standing there just fine. What the fuck? Oh no, he's not! Oh shit. Kay and Phi lay limp on the floor in front of me. In my right hand, I could feel the injector gun with its precious cargo. I could only pull the trigger once. Who was I going to choose? Phi or Kay or myself? No, what was I thinking? There was only one answer. Me! No, me! Me! You saved yourself! I didn't have a choice! After all, Kay's entire body was covered in impenetrable metal! I'm sorry, Kay. Wait. That's unlocked, isn't it? Wasn't it down there before? You son of a bitch! I'm sorry, Kay. I summoned this as much energy as I could and drive it. He really did take it off and go kill, kill Dio! After what felt like an eternity, I was finally within arm's reach. With no time to waste, I pressed the gun to her arm and pulled the trigger. S S Sigma, what the hell did you... I injected you with neostigmine. It's a type of cholesterol inhibitor. It's the antidote of the muscle relaxant. Why did you pick me? Because I couldn't inject K. No, yourself. Why didn't you pick yourself? Oh, didn't even think of that. Because I can't use the injection gun on K. It never get through the metal. Then why didn't you inject 
yourself. Because I'm programmed to always save you. Heh. <laughs> guess you got a point. Honestly, it didn't even cross You're my mind. The biggest idiot on the planet. Hey, come on. Is that any kind of thing to say to somebody who's about to die? How about something more tender? No. Screw this. I don't want to live if it means being in debt to you. No goddamn way. I'm not gonna. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? Fi continues, Morb's back here, and somehow finds a way to save both of us? Her words slurred and slowed and her eyes fluttered closed. She wasn't dead, of course. Like, why aren't we dead? Is this where we find out that the drugs don't do anything to us because we're a robot? I could hear the, the faint sound of her breathing and see her chest rise and fall. Good, Fi's gonna be all right. But Kay, that's open for sure. I looked over his direction. That was when I noticed it. Wait, is he already out? Is he, is he across the room right now? Just knelt down? Total golem? You've sorted it out. It's Clover get open. There's a hole in the back of your head. It looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there. Open up the suit and take the mask off. Wait, then he when he could when could he have It's empty. Yes. Was there something in there no, before? It was empty when I found it. You liar. But what if he lied? Could Kay have taken the key? How'd he gotten it didn't really matter anymore. What did matter is that Kay had been able to remove his armor. And he had. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> yes! Holy shit! Then that would be... Dio's killer is! And then we turn around and he's standing there. I coasted as much strength as I could for my increasingly lethargic body and crawl toward Kay. Okay, wake up. Come on, talk to me. Take the helmet off. I grabbed his shoulder and shook him until he finally shifted and spoke. Sigma. I just need to know one thing. Did you kill Dio? You weren't sleeping, were you? After I left, you took off your armor. You didn't want to go the same way I had, so you took the other door. After you went a long way around through the warehouse and the crew quarters, you headed for the elevator. How long were we in there for? <laughs> I bumped into Phi and went back to the lounge to check on you. We saw you, or we saw your armor, I guess. By then, you would have been let out of it. While we were in the lounge, you went to the treatment room and killed Dio. You must have turned off the oxygen to his pod, although you probably didn't stick around to make sure he died. I'm betting you were in a hurry to get back before Phi and I noticed something was up. Once you got back to floor A, you need to you need us out of the lounge, so you made a noise in the hall to lure us out. And then you ran down the south, and then when you went through... And then you ran around to the long way back to lunch again. What the f- Why can we talk for so long after being dosed? <laughs> Once you were there, you put your suit on again and waited for us. As soon as we found Dio's body, we did exactly what you expected. But why did you smash the watch? The bracelet? Hey, Kay, wake up. Something's happened. You pretend to wake up very disoriented and confused. What is it? Come on, Kay. I'm almost out of time. Did you kill Dio? <clears throat> yes. Your reasoning is correct. I... I killed him. But why? Because I couldn't forgive him. He took the life of someone very important to me. Yeah, it is! It is! Yes! Yes! It is! It is! I couldn't... He remembered her face! Who did he the, kill? The old woman. How is it June? What? She was like... Mother to me. She showed me how to see... How to see meaning in my life. Wait, are you yes. saying? Yes. I am. She was the woman who came here. Who the fuck is that? 18. Okay, now it doesn't actually look like... Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Shit. 
Who the fuck is this? Whoa, hold on. What do you mean here? She did have the Wikipedia stories, though. It's gotta be. Sigma. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Take the mask off, goddammit. There's something I have to tell you. Actually, I'm Santa. I made a promise that you would hear it. Do you understand? This is very important. You must pay attention. All right. Unfortunately, we are 39 minutes and 36 seconds over time. So um, there's no stream tomorrow. There's no stream on Friday. So we'll be back on Monday to continue. Cannot forget. Forget? He wasn't making sense. I was about to die. How on earth would I be remembered for anything more than a few seconds? If you see a lion with two heads devouring the sun, remember, remember these letters. M-I-L-K-E-V-O-L-I. Milky Vol? Milky Volvi. K-E-V. Shit! O-L-I. I... Love Clem. Who the fuck is Clem? Who's Clem? I love Clem. Does Clem's is K stand for Clem? Is your name Clem? What kind of name is Clem? I love Clem. I love milk. I love mi Oh, I love milk. Who the fuck is Clem? This will open the second gate. What's the first gate? What the hell? Hey, K, who told you to tell me this? No, who are you? Show me. Show me who you really are. I grabbed a hold of K's mask and tore it off. That's a good place to end it. See you all on Monday. No stream tomorrow, no stream on Friday. See you all on Monday. Two lines away, two lines away from two more lines. Two more lines, two more lines. If you wanna know who it is, if you wanna know who it is, you have to come back. You have to come back on Monday. See you later. Sorry. I went a little over time today. I went a little over time today. But, like, I had two unavoidable, unbreakable appointments tomorrow and Friday. So I can't do it. I'm sorry. Be back on, be back on Monday. Be back on Monday. See you later. Just kidding. Do you really think I would do that? Come on, let's continue. Here we go. Let's get the music back. All right, here's the cursor. All right. Did you really think I would do that? Did you really?